come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday because we're on this mission. A glorious, holy mission. Maybe we just have a problem. <laughs> maybe that's it. You know, we not, keep glorifying you know, this. Maybe we this it's is just judgment issues. free. Judgment free yeah, zone. No, Shun. This, is, this is the safe space. This is, <laughs> yeah, this is the group there. I could have worse problems. There you true. go. That's yeah. very true. And we're helping yeah. so many other people. Yeah, I'm not hurting anyone except myself. I sometimes. remember I had a, you're hurting us. Sometimes I had a doctor can't. tell me before I was like talking about like things that I struggle with, uh, and he was like, "It could be worse things." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's perspective. True. It's all about perspective. That's true. 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 Am I still there? Okay, still there. Yep. All right. So, uh, Ladies these... and we'll be checking in every now and again to make sure I'm still on this podcast. <laughs> uh, well, the the voices that you're hearing belong to the internet radio superstars. Holly. For now, Sean. Michaela. <laughs> and I'm Colin for now. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Michaela. Are you uh, still Michaela? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you won't know. The same. Right. It kind of comes in yeah. for tonight. What, uh, what do we watch tonight? Disturbing behavior. Ooh, mm. From the year. 1998. Uh, 25 beautiful year years ago. Of 1998. Oh, yes. 25th anniversary of I felt the, the 98 in this movie. Does that oh, make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I felt like, like I when they were eating the at the dinner table, movie. I was like, yeah. I've had dinner at this table. Yeah. Like, it yes. felt so lived in and natural. Like even time. now when you just said the words 1998, yeah. like, I got a little tingle in yeah, my stomach. Yeah, a little chill. Like, yeah. I, just, yeah. Like, I felt it. Mm-hmm. It's there. I think I got wiped out from this movie. <laughs> my, my tingle is gone. <laughs> no more tingle. <laughs> The 90s. Uh, the 90s yes. tingles. The great year of 1998 when all Truly. the fashion rage was whatever the fuck you want. And yeah. uh, MJ won his last championship. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to bring us back. I love it. It's two years after Scream. I yes. think that's very Scream important. Scream fever has a grip on the nation yes. Yes. still. Yeah. I, still. Follow, I follow an account on Instagram and they'll literally just like flip through magazines from the I 90s one page too. at a time. And it's so and amazing. And it's so therapeutic i miss magazines I like i miss yeah. the thrill of the month getting it in the them. mail they do but, it's like, they do but the content is so outdated by the time you get it now oh, yeah. that it's it can't yeah. keep up with the yeah. internet you know? I, yeah. I still get a couple like kind of design related yeah. ones but yeah. they brought fangoria back damn it now damn it. it's all yeah. new content that isn't yeah. movie like like new release movie related so you can it's buy it true. again they don't publish any of that shit on the internet. You have to buy it. True. Well, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. That is cool. Um, there is a way who to do directed it. this movie? Uh, David Nutter. Who we would know from. The X Files. He's directed many, many, many episodes ah, of X Files, including some of the important ones. Um, he also did uh, like, Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. yeah. He, I was, was going to say, say, name yeah. a TV show on in the past 20 years. He's done like, and not just one episode. Every time they, they must like him because he always yeah, does like right. nine to 10. So he gets like yeah. a half season or a full season. Yeah. But he did like some full, almost full seasons of Game of Thrones. Mm. So okay. late, later. So here's. <laughs> An observation uh, about David Nutter and mm-hmm. his relationship with the X Files, mm-hmm. because this is ninety eight, uh-huh. and this mm-hmm. is also the year that the X Files movie comes out, mm-hmm. which we covered this year <laughs> yes. on our show. Yes, but when Chris Carter had the option of picking one of the directors to direct the big budget movie mm-hmm. version, he chose Rob Bowman. Mm-hmm. Not Good David choice. Nutter. <laughs> so Good choice, I yeah. say. This I not think is David Nutter's that. first theatrical feature, yes. right, and yeah. only. I think it was his only. I don't. I think so. It was so much TV to scroll through. Okay. <laughs> with what I've read about what he had to go through with this, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. Yes. So he was just like, "Screw it! I'm better off on television, yeah. where you well, have a yeah. little more control." Because I think you have control on TV because of the speed. Yes. It's like mm-hmm. you have to crank this shit out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so. And I mean, we were saying while we were watching it, this very much feels like it was on TV. What if I told you it started as an idea for an X Files episode? <laughs> not be shy. So yes. many movies did. Yes. Didn't Final Destination that also was also was an X Files, yeah. and that has a different X Files writer. Yeah. on it. James, yeah. uh, well, James Wong and, and uh, uh, Glenn Morgan. It? Yes, who Glenn mm-hmm. Morgan? Then he became like. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think he was a director during the X. No. Was he? Did he direct some of the later I episodes? Don't know. He wrote yeah. a bunch of them and then mm. uh, became a director. Mm-hmm. And I don't know whatever happened to him because he did like Final Destination, Willard, and uh, Black Christmas. Mm-hmm. The oh six, well, which in wait, retrospect might not be the worst one now. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. wait for him to come back with the new Final Destination because they're talking about it. Why not? Um, Those movies can go on for forever. I, sh- sh- Their mechanism is people. I mean, die. I agree. That's but it. Do so. is at any point do they become not interesting? 
No. Know, I mean, so, <laughs> not part for me. Three. No, Michaela's yeah. the one who brought part yeah. three. Yeah. Well, and that's who, not, that's the best one. That's one of the best ones. If you think that's bad, it only gets worse. Okay. <laughs> who stars in disturbing behavior? 25 year old James Marsden. And I think this is who's interesting. Who's always been 25? I don't know if we've ever talked about him on the freak show before. Not that I can recall. Uh, how do we feel in general about James Marsden? It really depends. See, I really? Know. I feel like he's always perfectly cast. I like him. Always. I've yeah. always thought that the guy, I guess, I always feel like he, there, there has to be something that he's not doing in Hollywood. I don't know. Like, well, you know, he said he's happy wise? with his career and where okay. it's going. Know, he said he's exactly spot. where he wants to be. Because he's never like leading. Well, I mean, they, he, they, yeah. they, they started out trying to make him, I mm-hmm. think, like a leading Never man. leading. Have you mm-hmm. seen Sonic or Sonic 2? Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I mean, okay, he, but none of you have seen Jury Duty, and he's amazing yeah. on that show. Yeah, he's always he's like, fantastic. so he's like supporting a lot. It mm-hmm. feels like, yeah. but he's really good. He always fits he's, in. I I've never seen him in a role and been like he he's miscast. I've yeah. never thought yeah. that yeah. once. And he's played a pretty wide range of stuff. At do, you this guys, point. do you guys know the premise of Jury Duty? Yeah, yeah. that that it's there's yeah. one guy in the jury who's yeah. there for Jury Duty, and everyone else is an actor. Yes, exactly. And mm. obviously James Marsden is the is like the actor yeah. of them. They're like, oh my god, it's James Marsden, mm-hmm. and everyone else is like actors like that mm-hmm. he doesn't know they're actors yeah. Yeah. but james marsden is playing a completely exaggerated asshole version of himself i love it and it's really funny that's yeah, see, amazing. That, see, he uh, has that a sense I of humor about him. Yes. Right. that i would look forward to watching him in it's i've great. never i've never been like Ugh, james marsden that's never come no, across never no. he's on like two seasons of 30 rock and the, it is perfect casting and it's hilarious and he's very much going against type and I yeah it's great every time he shows up I'm always happy to see him I think yeah, that might yeah. be more what I like him in because anything that's like serious like I don't really care he's fine in um, that first I mean, season did you that, see that I watched of Westworld did you see but yeah, I he's really good in Westworld did you see Enchanted, Enchanted? yeah yes yeah. okay he's, he's fantastic right. he's Enchanted. Prince Charming or something right? yeah. Yeah. again yeah. when he's being funny or goofy then yeah well, yeah, he's, he's the perfect casting for Scott Summers in X-Men though yeah. that guy yeah. looks he's exactly that. like that character but also good in that first one he played like he had he uh, was emo. He had personality <laughs> yeah. in that one. Mm-hmm. And then they yeah. sucked it dry almost literally in the third one. Mm-hmm. When they, <laughs> yeah. 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 Is, he, lo- is he back in Days of Future Past? I can't um, for thing. cameos. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, that's what he, everybody gets well, used for he, in those movies. Because like, he was in... Um, like what? Is, like in his early days, because uh, I this might have been like the first thing that I remember mm-hmm. seeing James Marsden in disturbing behavior. Yeah. <laughs> but he was in like gossip, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he was in. He uh, strikes me as a soap opera guy. I could, I could totally. Yeah. You know how like James Franco was on like two seasons of General Hospital. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah that's like the launch pad for a lot of people. See, yeah, it's, it for me, like, it's more like teen soap. Mm-hmm. Like not so much daytime soaps, but yeah. more like teen. For soaps. this era, of yeah. I always thought that he should have been a leading guy and never got the the. He never be, found the career. Yeah, his career yeah. that he has is a, apparently what he it, wants. It's yeah. and it's a better place for an actor to be. I think we've always oh, talked yeah. about like character actors like super, sitting. At, you can keep yes, getting yeah. employed, like super successful, but not super famous. Yeah. He must yeah. be easy to work with too when you consider the amount of times he works like this guy never stops yeah. and like mm-hmm. just the broad amount of people he's worked with he must be yeah. a good person mm-hmm. to work yeah, he's with so. he's yeah. kind of got that like I don't want to say faux but it's like that faux like um, leading man jawline yes. that's why I'm saying yes. right yeah. but, but it not like when you need it I, I mentioned that because he was in the Taco Bell Nacho Fries retrieval when yes. they were making that in the movie yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, like we need a guy who looks like a leading man yeah. but will also be like have fun with it and he's mm-hmm. the guy you would go to for it yeah. H- Holly I need him to cross into the boys universe because I think he oh would be amazing oh my god I would boys. love yeah. that so much <laughs> this is like a yeah. fuck, like an asshole yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. just like when Jensen Eccles came on right. he's yeah. the biggest dick on the right. show yeah that's what he would be good at yes so he's he's 25 when he makes this movie yes. playing a, a high schooler who else is in this movie katie holmes hot hot off season one of dawson's creek okay in our mm-hmm. year of our lord 1998 yes. so yes. they were must have been filming this like she filmed this guy in the I believe, okay yes oh, that's sure, what i was wondering nice. if it was mm-hmm. like during the Remember hiatus sure but yeah. then and they were just like she's the it girl we're yeah. gonna put her in i mean she did take off like overnight yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and Nutter would have known, right, yeah. because he was working with her. He's like, this girl's going to be a... Because he uses mm-hmm. a bunch of, like, X-Files um, uh, folks in this. Wait, no, sorry. Had Nutter worked on uh, Dawson's Creek? I can't take I it saying. seriously when you call him Nutter. <laughs> no. David Nutter, uh, the director. <laughs> that I don't know. Yeah, okay, okay, so... Uh-huh. But Steve he's, Railsback he's British is... British name, so he'd be Nutter. It's such a... He's Nutta. such a Nutter, yeah. Nutta. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Railsback's in this. I want to go mm-hmm. watch... 
Uh, Life Force. Life Force. Yeah. Right now. Or uh, Helter Skelter, yeah. who played Charles Manson. Um, uh, also, like, the first guy who's killed and the, the, the deputy who, who dies. I was like, that's the... The cigarette smoking man. Son. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. probably a These are all like yeah, extras <laughs> and secondary characters from X Files. Yeah. yeah. So, and Mark Snow from X Files does yep. the music for mm -hmm. this because I remember going like, oh, he's finally yes. like branching out and being able to do feature film scores. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who else is in this movie? Well, Katie Holmes, we all know, basically married Tom Cruise, and then her career evaporated. But she was in Go, which was really good. Yep. She was right. in Batman oh, yeah. Begins. Yeah, and yeah. The Dark Knight. Yeah. No, she, no she was replaced in The Dark Knight, unfortunately. That was Maggie Hall. Oh, yeah. that's right. Oh. Which, oh, she's oh, the one who blew up. For some reason, I thought Katie Holmes was No, the one who blew but how do you not come back for that? Like, right. did they, I wonder what the disconnect was where they... she didn't make it to the... If they I didn't know. like her or something? Yeah. Like, I don't know, but I... Some I wish she would come back TV. and got blown up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she was good in that part, yeah. I thought. Yeah, I thought um, so, too. Oh, and she was in um, that other movie, uh, Thank You for Smoking. Mm -hmm. She was in that. I loved yeah. that movie. Was that like a post-Tom uh, Cruise like career? I mean, but that's the thing. It's I like, know. I think, that, like I think that. that was the beginning of yeah. Tom Cruise. Yeah. Was that the one where she was all punked out? Yeah. Like, pieces yeah. Of, was it Pieces of May? Pieces of April. Pieces, pieces of April. Of April that's April, it. Yeah. I'm like, May. <laughs> pieces of April, yes. Um, which is too bad. Anyway, mm -hmm. what happened to her uh, mm -hmm. or whatever she did with her, her career? It seemed like she was going places. Um, oh, how did, did we mention the boy too? Oh, fuck. That's right. She was in the boy. No, wait, she was in. No, she the, wasn't. No, she, wasn't. The, she was. The boy what? too? Was she? Oh, wait, we only watched it. the first one. Yeah, I haven't I've seen, seen it. Oh, I don't know. She's in she's the boy in the boy too. Oh, she's the okay. new lead in the boy too. Oh, I, I keep confusing that. her with uh what's her name from The Walking Dead? It was oh, in the first one. Lauren, 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 Lauren Cohen. Yeah. 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 yeah she's yeah, in the yeah. first one. Okay, it's, it's like, Katie Holmes and Boy Two. And yeah. I saw Boy okay. Two and yeah. I was gonna say, like I watched it and then you watched it. I did I watch it. I was like, I saw that and I was like, wait, no, I've only seen the first one. I haven't seen it, yeah. Okay. Uh who else is in this? Nick Stahl. No longer missing Nick Stahl. okay. I missed the whole missing part. He, I'm sorry, it's not funny, but um, he, but here I go with this story, and I'm going to yeah. laugh my whole way through it. His wife reported him missing like a decade ago, and it was kind of a joke on the internet that like he's like he's a recognizable guy. You'd know if you saw Nick Stahl, right? Like yeah, he, he's a sure. distinct looking gentleman. Yeah, so I, like, how yeah. could he go missing? But then he was found like on Skid Row buying drugs, and then went to rehab. So uh, like he w it was a legit problem. Yeah, yeah. I but thought he had checked into rehab yeah. or something. Well, That's what she was. Like, it was one of those like either go to jail or go to rehab yeah, sort oh. of things. Mm -hmm. But when your husband's missing for like four days and yeah. is found on Skid Row, it's not good. Yeah. But yeah. then That's later, like I was reading his Wikipedia because I was like, I know this is gonna come up, <laughs> and um. After that, there was like a real, they really breezed over that he got arrested for lewd accidents at, at an adult toy store. And I was like, whoa, whoa no, this is the story. the story. I was like, you're bearing yeah. the lead here. And then there was like no links to it. And I was like, oh, he's really trying to. Yeah. Do you guys have a place where up? I can try this but, out? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anybody? Exactly. Hello? But yeah, I just Shades always think of, of him uh, as uh, Paul Rubens. Yeah. 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 You use it, you buy it. Well, he had a... <laughs> oh, you don't want the yeah. used section on that store. <laughs> See, I, I don't remember seeing him before this either. To me, this was yeah. like Returns. basically seeing all Oh, he's threes. 19 years old, so yeah. Yeah, but not. he went on to like John Connor and Terminator 3. Yep. Yeah. Terminator that 3, yellow right? bastard. Yeah. In Sin City yeah. is, yeah, great. Yep. And, uh, you know... And Hunter then, Hunter, he's really good. Well, that's a newer yeah. one yeah. that he shows up mm -hmm. in. But yeah, that's a pretty good movie. Mm -hmm. um, he so he is like back and still acting again. He is. But back, okay, so, and then uh, who else is in, in the cast? Uh, um, Ethan Embry uh, at one point. Ethan Embry's in it, yeah. Mm -hmm. for, Which, because of course, it's a 90s teen movie. Ethan Embry has Ethan to show up, <laughs> otherwise it's, it's tease, illegal. Though. It's just video footage. I know. Yeah. Well, I he had a bigger Ethan part, Embry. but it all got cut out. Yes. Oh, this is one of those uh, Yeah, the yeah. original movie was 115 minutes long. The studio cut 31 minutes out of this movie. Yeah. So what's going on there? Uh, uh, um, there was a lot of studio interference. They hired three different editors, so there was three different cuts of this movie at one point in time, and they kept trimming it down because David Nutter wanted it to be like a tense X-Files thriller and be serious, and the studio wanted it to be a scream Knock off. They said, we want the scream style pace, the jokiness, the like... So they are the one who did all the needle drops. Yes, right. and they said... It can't be over 90 minutes because teenagers won't watch a movie over 90 minutes. And I'm like, eh, teenagers need a place to hang out. I think if a movie's two hours long, they're fine making out in the theater for an extra 30 minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm Stop saying? Stop kicking like, them out for smoking weed. Yeah. You'll have them there for your movie. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, yeah, three different editors came through and there was a there was a fan cut where people put deleted scenes back in yeah. that go into all the backstory of a lot of the other characters. And then, but David Nutter said that there 
was a different ending and this was not the original ending. And actually they did a test version and the audiences didn't like that Gavin died. So they tacked on that bogus ending Ooh. we got because it makes to no undo sense. it yeah. it makes no, no. Sense. a lot of this yeah. movie doesn't so boo sense. on you test audience that was a bad call yeah I mean, a lot of up from what i mean, a lot of the test audiences it just went back and forth of what they liked what they didn't yeah. like up until like 11 days before this hit theaters yes. they were doing cuts on it mm-hmm. Ugh. So yeah, that's uh yeah you got a problem i yep. mean you know you always hear the director like defending their thing is like it was it was a masterpiece until the studio <laughs> got a hold of it but i've seen your movie mm-hmm. and uh that's kind of questionable the uh you you know, and the studios obviously going like, we don't care yeah. what the critics say. We're aiming for. We just right. want their money. Yeah. yeah. Their and money. this is what we have to deliver to get, yeah. you know, the kids. But to go 31 see it. minutes Ooh. is a lot to cut that out. Is yeah. That is mm-hmm. a lot. But apparently a lot of it is deleted scenes on like the Blu-ray or something yes. like that. Mm-hmm. And, then they and people back. have pieced together like YouTube edits of like with the deleted scenes back in. But. Man, that ending sucks no matter what. Yeah. So, I'm wondering uh, when... There's no way that ending makes sense. No. No. But we'll get to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, other also, also in the cast, you've got uh, Bruce Greenwood. Yes. Um, who I was like, oh, well, he's graduating. This is how you know it's a Canadian movie, because both him and Catherine yes. Isabel in, are yes. in it. Uh, you mean the monster the from Special 8? <laughs> Super 8? He was the motion capture monster. Was in he JJ really? Abrams. Yep. Yeah, in That's Super cool. 8. Right? He's like, I wanted to get the Bruce Greenwood eyes into this monster. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then we I'd seen him. See, in the 90s, he was doing like, you know, Adam Egoyan, the movie right. director, did Exotica, and I think The Sweet Hereafter, he was in both of those. Yeah. I want to say he was in something else with Adam Egoyan. And then he graduated to this. And then eventually the Star Trek movies, yep. right? And we've all seen him in, 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 in everything that he's done since... Uh, the, you, you might not know his name, but you know the actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, William Sadler is also mm-hmm. in the movie. Death himself. I know. See, yes. I like this because this took me back because I'm like, William Sadler used to be in all the like low budget horror movies yeah. of this era. Yeah. And this was like a studio movie. And it's mm-hmm. like, oh, there you look at that. And then they Bill don't get Sadler. to use him very well. No. He's but, probably in that 31 minutes on the floor. Probably. But, <laughs> but he gets to do like the characters, you know, like right. he gets to play someone other than Bill Sadler, you know, yeah. or whatever. Right. You know. This is like um, Clue Gulliger coming in. He's like, I'm going to do a funny voice for this uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of distracting. Yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. A little. Um, Again, tone issues, the back and forth in this movie. Yeah, I and this movie have. is written by... Scott, Scott Rosenberg, Rosenberg yeah. okay. who wrote Sean's favorite movie of all time, Venom. He wrote a lot of stuff. <laughs> I know, but that is a that is a button I like to push on you. That, so that is Venom. There it is. I was waiting for you to do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, it. that's all you're getting. <laughs> for what he did to me tonight, that's all you're getting out of me for Venom. It's not the first time he's hurt you, and it won't be the last. I, probably. Well, truly, truly. Wait, hold on. Let me get that mm-hmm. list back up because mm-hmm. he's he's written some stuff. Okay, so things to do in Denver when you're dead. Oh. From 1995. I, I like that one, though. That's a good, yeah, that's yeah. a good Well, not all of them are bad. I'll say that, yeah. but I'm just going to well, go through the I list. I like Venom, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, 96 is Beautiful Girls. I like that one, too. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, this guy did that. No. 1997's Con Air. He did all the Jumanji Con Air. Movies. Shut okay. up. I mean, I like yeah. Con Air. <laughs> Serving Behavior, High Fidelity. Gone I like, in 60, I like right, High Fidelity. Right. Gone had a good novel, though, to be. It did. Had a good novel. Gone, Gone in 60 Seconds. Uh, he adapted Imposter. Love. Highway, Kangaroo Jack. Oof, that's, that's uh, a bad one. That's, did, tough. that's a bad one. And he did both Jumanji's, which the first one's really funny. The first one is really funny. The first one's really yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, he did that TV show Zoo? Holy shit. Oh. He was the creator with of the, Zoo. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. The animal attack show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cyclops Baby. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to look at that. Is it, wait, is it Cyclops, comma, baby? No. Or, it is no? 1977, t- 1997 TV film. No, it is Cyclops comma. Baby. That's I'm different. I'm just looking on here. Yeah, oh, yeah. According Cyclops, to, comma. Cyclops, that is a different. Baby? Yeah. Cyclops, okay, there's a, there's a whole baby. lot. There is a difference. There's a whole between, no. There's a whole difference there's a, there. That comma makes that a makes big a lot fucking of difference. difference. Is it Cyclops, baby, Damn it. or Cyclops? Which one do you baby? want more, Cyclops, yeah. baby, or Cyclops, baby? Cyclops, baby. I want Cyclops, baby. I want Cyclops, baby. I'm clicking on Cyclops, Gary baby. Gary Cole is right in this. Yeah. Oh, Gary Cole. Oh, and Willie Carson from Sex and the City is in this. Oh. I mean, well, I guess I, rest. Yeah. I mentioned oh, me, uh, myself, and Irene, the the writer really? Scott oh, Rosenberg. Was an mm-hmm. role, sorry, oh. well, <laughs> I was like, shut up. <laughs> there's, but there's okay. We have to talk about the writer because, like, the the dialogue in this movie, Oof. it's Oof. rough. Oof. Oof. Right. Um, it like is. he's trying to create out, yeah. a whole new You're, language like, and dialect. You and know, you know the you know like the Steve Buscemi like hello fellow yeah. kids. It's That's this movie. this movie. It, but it feels like. 
And I'm trying let's, to figure out. What the, trying, I'm not trying. He's not the first or last person to no. try and do this and fail at no, it. No, but I'm saying like, why does it sort of work when Diablo Cody does it? Like that's what it reminded me of. This feels like failed Diablo Cody because like you think about like the, even that opening scene of Juno. That's one there, doodle but, that can't be undid. What, home skillet. Like yeah. because there's that, a rhythm to it. Yeah. And at least there's nothing. There's like a poetry, flow. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. right? You un- you can latch on to the rhythms of it yeah. and the flow and all that stuff. This mm-hmm. it's nothing. It's just I'm gonna shoot this at you. What do you think? Well, how do you, like, so he's basically going like, okay, teens have their own kind of code. Uh, yeah, like language. kids nowadays say, you know, cap when they mean bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So he's putting, he's just putting, he's making up his own instead of using yeah. the like language of the time of ninety because teens, he's inventing right because that stuff. would be undecipherable to try and figure out that trying <laughs> <laughs> put into a movie. So he's like, I got to make shit up because I can't. Yeah. Like he brought in Jane Goodall and she's like, I have no idea what they're saying. Yeah, I, I had no idea what they were saying, <laughs> yeah. and I. No, I'm going back 90s. to the apes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's she's like, done. even I can't help you. Yeah, she's like, I'm done. Like, yeah. I'm a, no That's documentary great. can be made about these people. <laughs> there were some... I, well, no, I'm sad that in, in that movie Arrival, the Amy yeah. Adams Arrival, why didn't they bring Jane Goodall and she's like, I got nothing. That like, would that would have been funny. I got nothing. The equivalent of that is like the um, <laughs> Ghostbusters cameo at the beginning of Casper where Ray yeah, 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 out. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, who are you going to call? Somebody else. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, that would be the true. Jane Goodall in Arrival. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would only be funny to like 10 people, but it would be really right, funny. Real funny. <laughs> it would be real funny. Which is all to say, this movie is kind of indecipherable as far as the language goes. That, that made about as much sense as this whole movie, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. Do you so. remember any of the exchanges in this? That uh, Sounds Razor? So, yeah, sounds yeah. Right. sounds but she right. But she said sounds sincerely, right. like yeah. no sarcasm, no tone of anything, just flat sounds Razor. razor. Sounds Razor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there was another one. That, but about there's a that. lot of uh, yeah. something about somebody put too much LSD in my spam. Too much acid oh, too, in my spam. Who put acid in my spam? Who put acid in my spam? Yes. Which is not like a Which, sexual euphemism. No. She is like, at least I don't think. So. She no, she's so. she's literally like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. that's when yeah. Gavin yeah. comes yeah. back yeah. in all straight legs. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think it's maybe that could be pulled off. But her delivery on it was not. Like you gotta no. really go over with that one, and like who the fuck put acid in my these, spam? Like or at least something. These actors hate saying these lines. You can I think tell so. because they're mumbling through them. This is a this is like yeah. a mumble core movie, and I did not realize that. Like, Truly, oh my we God, needed speak subtitles. The fuck up! I can't hear <laughs> you. I feel like part like like well, you were saying, there's like a rhythm to it when Diablo yes. Cody does it. It's mm-hmm. because she's doing it to be funny. Yeah, that's this true. This movie, they're saying these weird trying lines, to be cool. and it's supposed to be cool and yeah. serious. That's the thing. You can't try to that's be cool. You can try and be funny and pull it off. Uh, you yeah. can't try to be cool. That's the difference. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, they're too sincere about Rain it. Rain Wilson yeah. saying, you know, yeah. home skillet, like that's yeah. funny. Yeah, right. This is not funny. It's no. yeah. weird and stupid. Well, we were talking about like you know, like the Heather's had kind of invented a language. Clueless kind of yeah. invented a language. Well, Clueless or, was or Clueless this? dialed in on it a lot yeah. better yeah. than, yeah. than yeah. anybody could. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And Scream had like a that. not like a language, but it had like a teen. It, uh, focused like interaction, you know, like right, but it also had the underground of movies, like yeah. you could yeah. fall back on talking about those, yeah. which you know, we all understand. And that's like, it didn't have to necessarily uh, land on the colloquialism of, of I can never say that word right. No, you got uh, it. Did I? Okay, good. Um, of, of the teenagers of the time, we had the undercurrent of movies, which helped a lot. Yeah. Well, that's Kevin Williamson's thing is he uses pop culture to underscore yeah. a point his character is making. Right. Like, yeah. uh, they, and they literally will say like A to B kind of mm-hmm. pop culture reference. Right. But it works. And he's yeah. made a career out of making that work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But man, anytime someone else tries to copy it, it's Oof. a disaster. Yeah, this was, this was kind of rough. <laughs> uh, OK, so what's the plot of this movie? That takes place in, uh, what was it? Cabot Cove. No, that's Burger Cradle Shore. Bay. Cradle Bay. Bay. Gross. <laughs> Don't like the sound of that. Ugh. Don't like it. Cra- no. Yeah. Yeah. The cradle no. of civil- civilization. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's Stepford Kids. There it, sounds like, you know? it sounds like a prison wing. It does. True, or it is. The, it sounds like a psych wing. Oh, yeah. the cradle yeah. bay. We'll yeah. fix you. So Stepford Wives, we've done on the show twice. We did the classic yep. original. Yes. We did the remake. Yep. This and is, two yep. movies could not be more different. Yep. Right. And there was a sequel to the Stepford Wives, the original, I believe, called... Stepford Children. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, which was an NBC TV movie, mm-hmm. I remember, and it was about like the parents to finally say, like, we got to remold these kids and make them behave. Right. So and Village of the Damned, also. <laughs> well, those, well, were, those, those were similar. Those kids I'll give you were similar. The from, faculty, from the, yeah. which we cannot like, ignore really while kids, talking about they? this. They were yeah. alien. Yeah. In yeah. Village of the Damned, they were alien yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. They had their, yeah. They were, but faculty, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that pulled it off. 
way better because I mean Kevin Williamson and uh, it was it, <laughs> Kevin Williamson and uh, Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, it's so nice. it's like it's it. almost basically mm-hmm. like we'll take these two elements from Scream Two, make this about teenagers and aliens, and mm-hmm. there we go. Which did yeah. the whole takeover thing and parents being wrong and like I think they when did no they couldn't have because this movie Disturbing Behavior came out in July, the Faculty came out in December. So they couldn't even see the faculty and be like, "Oh, we need to make it better and re-edit uh, it." They couldn't do that. Right. Oh, I mean, this is the cla- this is that classic '90s like Deep Impact Armageddon. Yes, truly, you know, yes. like Volcano Dante's Peak. Dante's yes. Peak, and, right? Yeah. Disturbing behavior. Yeah. In the fa- okay, yeah, I like this. yeah, yeah. 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 Put them up yeah. there. But let's do more of that. Let's bring it back. <laughs> right, because <laughs> me these verses weekend. Right, yeah. upgrade Venom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we need these things to bounce off each other. Yeah. Oh, they did it right, and then yeah. look at them. Uh-huh. So I guess we had Jobs, Steve Jobs. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They do happen, yes. Yeah. It happens. I, I thought you turned Steve Jobs into a bond right there for a second. I'm, like, Joe, oh, Steve I'm pretty Jobs. sure one is Jobs and one, one is Steve yeah. Jobs. Yes, yes, you are yeah, correct. yeah. It was Fast Bender and Kutcher. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've wow, got. What a time uh, to be alive. Yeah. So it's a Stepford. It's based. <coughs> pardon me. Oh, we've got the Stepford children. The parents yes. all decide that uh, the best thing for their kids is they just want them to shape up and behave. We and just so want what's best for you. There's some kind of nefarious plot going on in the town of right. well, Cradle Cove. Like we were saying, uh, this Cradle movie starts... Cradle, Cradle Bay. Bay. Damn it. Cradle Cove <laughs> might have been better. Uh, but this movie starts out with a uh, uh, stereotype like numero uno, a, new, a family moving to a new town yeah. to start yeah. over, to start fresh. Because Definitely they have not trauma. running from something bad. Right, no, no trauma on their past. No. This is all great They're dream fine. pastures and new opportunities. Don't you love, I mean, I'm guilty of this even, don't you love <laughs> that every, every human assumes that the answer to all your problems is to just move? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, start no, fresh. they'll follow you. Those right, problems yeah. will follow you. Yeah, even yeah. Steve or uh, uh, Michael Scott was just like, we'll just run away. Yeah. And, and it had <laughs> to be explained that your problems end dead. We'll follow yes. you. Yes, I'll go off the grid. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll go off the grid. I just love that every human, whether it's like a kid being like, I'm going to run away from home or an adult being like, I'm moving out of my hometown. Yeah. We, that mentality never goes away. Well, because it used to be a possibility. Yeah. You used to be able to do that. Now yeah. you can't. They'll yeah. find you anywhere. But yeah. people yeah. would just leave yeah. and have new lives. Like you could just be the new kid in town. You yeah. Like, yeah. It was a thing. It could yeah. happen. You could skip yeah. down and disappear forever and be like, I know I've been living regular life for the past yeah. 30 years. You guys just don't know about it. Can't you, do it now. Aren't you guys jealous of generations before us that went to yes. high school with people and then never saw them again? <laughs> and never had to think about them again because right? there was no social media. Like you saw them at graduation, and that was it for the rest of your life. And then life. maybe you like wouldn't hate them or be jealous of them because yeah. you only saw them once. Because every they just 10 exited years. your mind as soon as you left school. You forever, yeah. uh, you were an then you started your now. own life and went your own yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And started Facebook over. ruined yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. you wouldn't see that the homecoming queen is, Damn it, still, is still having a great life. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No. And I don't need to know that. Or saddled with three kids and a divorce. You never know. The, the <laughs> and in a pyramid scheme, yeah. Oh what? In a pyramid scheme. Oh yeah, too. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. all into MLM. Yeah, yeah. all of them. So these kids We're all triggered by this yeah, movie. I guess yeah, so. yeah. High school Very. memories. Yeah, it's like right. I said at the beginning, therapy session. But well, there was That's a couple times that the school dynamic sent a chill down my spine. Of oh, like, oh God! School dynamic. Yes. We have to, God, you have yeah. to describe this scene because I've only seen it done once better in a movie called Not Another Teen Movie. Which came out starring Chris Evans and mm-hmm. uh, a bunch the, of other people. The parody of like all yes, the, the parody yeah. of all this stuff the, and yeah. the 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 I mean, mean girls breakdown. Like yeah, it was like right. yeah. But every this like everyone does. Scene. But Mean Girls, right? It's yeah. classic. But yeah, yeah. You have the the local loner showing the new kid all the different mm-hmm. cliques and groups, right? Because table been, by table, in he's the been cafeteria. paying attention, man. Yeah. He's been watching. He's been people. observing. He knows the shit that's going and on. I love this '90s trope. I love it. It's Brand fantastic. Yes. It's, Ten it's, things it's, I hate it's, about you had a good if one. If nothing else, it's hilarious. Yes, every time because it's so cartoonish Clueless in the way they depict well. themselves. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it always the pothead? The pothead's the most observant. It's got to be the outcast. It's always an outcast. It's an an outcast of some sort. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because like in Clueless, like she, the popular girl was the one like saying, "Here's these people. Here's these people." Yes. And yeah, but Ten Things I Hate About You was like the audiovisual kid, right? I was like, "Here's the cowboys. (laughs) Here's the Rastafari." (laughs) Right. Yeah. (laughs) I love. Yeah. I think even Community may have done it at certain. They've done it a few times. I think. Yeah. I love that. It's a fun one to fall back on if you if you're not. Taking it seriously, I yeah. think. You it's can funny. make some really good sight gags out of just the cut yes. to the group and them just being a ridiculous stereotype I mean, of that. It's always fun. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, but I don't think they, they were knew they were going no. overboard with it. No. Yeah. no. The nerds were hardcore overboard. Oh, my that was God. Not <laughs> since Saved by the Bell have I seen nerds this, like, right. over the top. Oh, my God. Violet and Bickerstaff. Yeah, exactly. It was that vibe. <laughs> it's that guy. Yeah. It's that yeah. character. <laughs> Did I get you, Holly? <laughs> 
<laughs> and like and like they can barely function, but they can use computers. Like, right, it makes yeah. no sense. They're, like, they're all autistic, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. computers and they're geniuses yeah. and they're all going yeah. to Harvard. Yeah. Well, who's doing the explaining? Nick Stahl. And he plays... Gavin. Because we mentioned him before. Yeah. Uh, He's really fucking annoying in this movie. I was truly I had a hard time yeah. feeling bad for this he character. He does a lot of the exposition. I just I kept think thinking, in... can we brainwash this kid already? I'm mm-hmm. tired of it. Would be better because, yeah. he, but he is uh, the guy who kind of knows everything, but he also thinks he, he knows everything, but he's like, thinks he's cooler because he knows everything. It or the way he talks. conspiracy theorists. They think yep. because they know something that they're in on some big secret right. that no one else and is aware of and that makes them more important. Yes. Mm-hmm. But and in this is, case, yes. it's true, though. In the, in the, in the but movie. it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't end up mattering because guess what? He just succumbs to it anyways. Like, that I thought was a kind of a weird way to go that he basically just goes like, well, the fix is in and I have to no, surrender to that my guy would have been skipped town. He would have been gone. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. he knew that his parents had done that, we wouldn't see him again for the rest he of the movie. He literally witnessed two murders. He witnessed two murders, saw yeah. his parents give him up, and yet yeah. he's like, I'm just going to go home and go to bed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He does, okay. He records a video for uh, uh, Katie Holmes to see, but like, which does nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a it's pointless like, well, video. Before mm-hmm. I'm, torn, you know, yeah, it's, brainwashed. It's, it's one of those like if if you're watching this, I'm already gone. Yeah. 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 Kind of bullshit. And that's all he says. Yeah. It's like take care of UV for me. UV being the albino uh, other stoner in the movie. That I can't who understand. Barely, it was unintelligible for most of the yes. movie. Yes. Yeah. And it's crazy because they're speaking in this like foreign language. Yeah. And but he's also English, like, but yeah. Yeah. He's also speaking stoner. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, yeah, man, just fucking uh, half the shit that comes out of the mouth. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, you're supposed to understand them on a like a Freaks ESP the wavelength. Right. And you're just yeah, like, I don't know what's going on. Freaks all week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone's a freak. Um, Boy. It's very hip. It's very cool. Very, um, hip, very hip, scary, and entertaining. <laughs> yep. So um, this movie starts with a violent blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it does. <laughs> I don't uh, want to skip over that part because no, that's, that's shocking. Welcome, I, everyone. So, we are violent blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, his timing of the head snap. I was like, is, is her, your did you also snap off? your dick? Yeah, 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 you snap I thought I was what like, snapped here. I was like, you I know, I, I don't think. She was fully away from you, sir. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have issues with that. Yeah, and Ugh. yet he's fine. Yeah, so yeah. apparently. And yeah. the cops are like, I-, I like that two people die in the opening scene. The girl who the guy's on the date with, yes, and then the cop who shows up that he shoots and kills, yeah. and the sheriff is like. Come on, boy. We'll we'll take care of it. Yeah, it it's like okay. So right now I he's have like get out of here, you little with scamper. the logic of <laughs> right. this movie that yeah. it is better to have uh, kids that are quote unquote well behaved if they kill everyone that they come in contact with because that's basically what's going on. This here, is what right? happens when you don't. Well, come. no, the problem is when they get people. horny, they have wrong. to get that electrical impulse out, and yeah. there so is it comes some out in violence if they this. don't yeah. aren't allowed yeah. to be horny. Not, we're not talking to you incels, though. Forget mm-hmm. you. You don't count. Yeah. S- but this is like the general gist of the movie, yeah. right? That, like... Um, um, trying to go back to the more instant times of the 1950s. Well, Bruce mm-hmm. Greenwood is a uh, a doctor mm-hmm. uh, who, who works as a school counselor, but we find out that he has a history of... Uh, he worked for this uh, mental institution a history of disturbing on the behavior. mainland. There you go. I like I like where you're going there. Uh, a point yep. to, to Sean. Yep. <laughs> and so he has come into the, the small town and created a program where he can reprogram your wayward kid. Yes. Mm-hmm. And make them uh, into the blue, the blue bells, the blue, blue ribbons, blue, blue ribbons. ribbons. Yes. Which is the social click in the school that are all That's the like Letterman Archie jackets. That's like Archie and his pals. And, yeah. yeah. It really is. Yeah. We, but there's the, a Veronica and yeah, a what's her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them. Yep. But the problem with his uh, his scientific method, which I'm not entirely the problem sure, is how horniness. Is yeah. Yes. It's That's basically it, right? Yeah. Hormones. Yeah. If, if, hormones. If, if you're horny, it short circuits. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. What do you say That's every time one of these, teenagers? Yeah. Every yeah. time yeah. one of these yeah. kids gets the a hard on, they them. beat yeah. someone to death with it. Yeah, when they yeah. call them young, dumb, full of cum, like yep. that. Yep. It's true. That, yeah. That's that. This should have been the tagline for this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, because I guess we're, you know, you see that uh, cafeteria scene and you got, uh, we were sitting there going about the fashion where like everybody just seems to be wearing whatever. So it's like, wow, look at this universe of, uh, you know, individuality. (laughs) Mm -hmm. People just doing whatever the fuck they want. But what the parents want. Oh, they're fucking evil bastards. Just want everybody to conform and wear Mm -hmm. their Letterman jackets. And this is the guy who's got the. uh, He's got the answer. He's got the the, the scoop. You want to make it easier to, quote unquote, raise your children? Let's brainwash them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And the parents have like a PTA meeting where they actually decide this happens. And James Marsden has a great line. He said, I had no idea evil was this pervasive. (laughs) (laughs) Which legit got a laugh out of me. (laughs) Some good, some real quick funny moments. She's like talking about how they're going to have like a bake sale. Yeah. 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 And he's like, wow. Oh my God, you're right. They're taking over. And how to bake sale. (laughs) Well, it's like what they, they, he, Gavin brings him there like, this is, we're going to hear some, you know, crazy shit. Because he's trying to convince him like shit's going on in Mm -hmm. this town, man. Yeah, but he hasn't fled yet, right? And he's friends with uh, Katie Holmes, mm-hmm. and of course, Katie Holmes and uh, James Marsden immediately have sparks. He is. Well, he I is mean, he stares struck. at her. Yeah. He, mu- he on must the be because the, yeah. the cuts back and forth to her of her doing nothing. She's uh, spinning around in slow motion. The back of her. She, no, yeah. she's not dancing. How dare you? She's uh, uh, she's being moody. That's yeah. what it is. She's just standing there being. Uh, she's brooding. brooding. Yeah, she's yeah. brooding. Yeah. She's brooding. And so he loves emo. It. Yeah. <laughs> um, there is um. I mean, I like that the movie is finally showing like a guy falling for a girl being brooding because it's usually the yeah, way around. It's usually that. Uh, usually we're yeah. supposed to fall for the brooding guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now you see how stupid it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then Holly Sorry. just punches <laughs> Colin in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it does have reverse Twilight energy. It does. It? Yeah. <laughs> well, this movie kind of gave like equal opportunity to a lot of stuff yeah. because like in the beginning we see like there's one, what's his name, Chubbs or something? Chug. Chug, Chug, the kid. I don't know that either of those are right. <laughs> no, Chug? it is. It's Chug. Which one's Chug? The, the one... one that likes Kitty Holmes. Yeah. His oh, name's the Chug? creepy one guy. His name's Chug. Chug. I thought yeah. it was Chad. No, it's and, Chug. Oh. Well, that's crazy. I mean, I'm going to go with Chug because that <laughs> seems Chug, on the Scott Rosenberg I'll, I'll, level I'll right you. there. I believe I'm you. Michaela ready to fight doesn't. You. Yeah. Punch her. <laughs> I'm Keep this up. equal opportunity I'm going. I'm well, he up. because he's turned on by Katie Holmes, right? Yes. Uh, that's why. That's what breaks his brain and breaks his programming. Yes. Uh, and later, he's there's this. Uh, his head, as we learned, is that yeah. what, what's going on? Uh, yeah. yeah, he's Charles Chug Roman. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Okay. What's up? Chug. He becomes one of the main antagonists in the movie. He's representative of the Yeah, blue, he's blue, awful. Blue, I hate this ribbons. guy. So, <laughs> but there's there's that scene <laughs> later. Now. <laughs> there's a uh, uh, there's a blonde girl who is Lorna? a part of Lorna. Lorna. Yes. Who's the object of desire for Nick Stahl's character? Mm-hmm. And she has a scene where she kind of like loses her fucking shit and starts bashing her head bad. into the bad, bad. Yeah. That's wrong. right, because she's thinking wrong. she's thinking yeah. sexy yeah. thoughts about James Marsden. Yeah. So that's her equal opportunity stuff. Which there. I mean, you blame her. Join the yeah. club, like, bitch. It, well, well no, that's what I was going to say. If you two had, had gotten up and started doing that at a certain point in the movie, it would have really freaked the shit out of me. Yeah. Bad, yeah. wrong. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she causes some head trauma. That was the trailer moment. Yeah, right? yeah. She yeah. smashes yeah. her head here the and then walks out. Why not? Fine. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Why won't you date out. me? Yeah. 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 But that's a different cut, isn't it? Like a head-on shot. Anyway, it's more of in a, the trailer. Yeah. Or they've moved it. It's from the side. Yeah. More of a head-on. She. We don't see her much in that shot, but it's different in this one. You're correct. But we begin to be- suspect that there's something amiss in this. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, oh, we know we, it's we be- a- right. We begin to suspect, and then they for for like. 20 seconds tell us exactly what's going on. Well, that was a little later because first we had Mustang. Bones. But it's still too early in the movie to do it. Also not needed having watched the rest of the movie. But I'm sorry. What was the point of that? It was just pornographic. Yeah. Wait, which part? Which the, part? The, 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 snuff, the snuff film oh. with the cars in the middle of the movie? What? I, now yeah, that, also, now I'm mad all over again because I'm like, it didn't pay off yeah, in any like, way. I'm no. sorry. Why don't you want your like popular kids to have a sweet ride? And why are the popular like, kids destroying the like sweet ride? It's like wearing school uniforms. Yeah. You, can't, you can't wear something outside of the... Everyone else must conform. And so the, everyone has to yeah, have like the a Mustang is fucking not, is, Corolla that yeah. you have a nice car. Yeah. Exactly. And it seemed That's like bullshit. he... Well, because... Yeah, but we, we've established this school has like the motor heads or whatever right the greasers right. who if you didn't know uh leather jacket black pants penzoil t-shirt penzoil yeah. hat it's like oh he must work on cars they're really going for yeah. it I in mean, the costuming in this I, I i like that shop class kids are like a click in this school yeah it's not something i can relate to <laughs> i mean if the kids like from the poor side of town i get why he's wearing the free shit he gets with i his understand his that <laughs> I, I understand that but that was not their purpose they're like we must have shorthand that this like, guy works on cars I and know, them. but yeah. see you, I think you misread the shorthand because you're like oh he's 
probably got abusive parents, but it's no, no I said what, that. They, oh yeah, because they, they his parents I was for enrolled him it. in the program yeah. to right. make him a better right. student, yeah. which means that of course at night you go out and you're surrounded by all the zombie like right. Uh, Where we get more clips, like we got students. the winning numbers for you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what, the, what does that mean? mean? <laughs> all of their little like one liners. Yeah. It was very like be the ball. It was vi- well, like no, in this specific okay. scene, like when they're on the boat about to like attack this kid, it yeah. was very like we're about to gang rape you. Yeah, it was really yeah. rapey. Mm-hmm. Did you get that? Yeah, there was I, yeah a couple scenes where, where I was they like, were yeah. pushing it. Where well, they far. were gonna beat him up? They were gonna beat him up, but the things that they were saying. It was very like it was like we want you. We're here for you. Like it was very <laughs> yeah. gang. Right, just imagine them a little more rednecky, and um, the guy <laughs> being a You're woman. Deliverance. And it's the same thing. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, don't yeah. say those words in front of. Don't say deliverance in front of Holly. Okay. Uh, I can't do it. Okay. Can't do it. Squeal like a pig. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> so and as he's rubbing his belly button, I think is what he's doing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. So that's the first, because then this kid the next day shows up in school. He's all clean cut. He's wearing the jacket and he bashes the living fuck out of a 1969 Oof. Ford Mustang. And we're it like, was the oh. real horror of this movie. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then, so then everybody's like, well, you know, so what the fuck's going on? It's like, okay, obviously people like the next day turn into the perfect student. And yeah, all they want to do long. is drink vin- uh, uh, custard shakes, uh, uh, yogurt shakes a yogurt yeah. at the yogurt yeah, the shop. shop. Shoppy. Mm-hmm. Shoppy, yeah. <laughs> What's shoppy? I like this yogurt shoppy. Yeah, I'd hang oh, out here. It's cute. It looks like the one from uh, um, uh, Pleasantville. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like the one in Pleasantville. It's super cute. Yeah. I mean, no, I like it. I like yeah. the, the aesthetic of it. But I want to hang out there. <laughs> well, you want to be one of the blue ribbon? No, I don't want to hang out there. <laughs> But you have to be a blue ribbon to hang out there. Sorry, Holly. I, I mean, mean, James Marsden didn't think it was a bad idea lie. for if a little while. If there's ice cream involved, I'll probably show up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He went and checked out what they were selling. Yeah. True. And then, yeah. They saw his jawline and they were like, you belong with us. Right. Yep. Yeah. like, yeah, there's no other group you could be in. You look like you belong to a country club. Right. Look at that hair, yeah. that piercing jawline, those eyes. piercing blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> then, after a storm. <laughs> but then Gavin joins the dark side after he's like, "Man, they're gonna take me, and I'm gonna go home and kill them all." She'll let him smoke Marson them all. Takes his gun. James Marsden should let him smoke them all. Yeah. I know. But James Marsden takes his gun for I don't want to say important because I don't know how important it is, but for a reason. Yeah. Later, we find out. I know. Like, personal that connection. That gun doesn't come back into play. Right? No, but no. I think it's more. It was personal for him because no, of his I get that. Yeah, but yeah. I don't, oh yeah, he's right by the ocean. Why didn't he throw? Just it huck in? it. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I yeah. thought he was going to. Why didn't, didn't he throw happen. it? In? I don't know. That because no that sense. you can take the friend's gun, but that's disrespectful to just throw in the ocean. Like it's not even your gun, man. I know somebody. Paid yeah, but money now for he's got thing. a gun in his possession. Who? James Marsden. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's which not. never comes oh, back in. Like you figure, it's going to be like an action kind of Something. movie, and he's yeah. going to have to like, there use it some at some point. But it doesn't to come it. back. No, so it doesn't I was like, come why back. Why not no. chuck it in the ocean? There's shit that does show up that you're like, we should have had the Chekhov's uh, scalpel, but we don't yeah. know where the fuck that came mm-hmm. from. Anyway, there's the Chekhov's like machine, like noise machine. <laughs> Well, that oh, one actually yeah. does. They yeah. do set that up. So the the janitor, yeah, uh, William Sadler, yes, mm-hmm. which there's a whole Who has thing. The same glasses as me. Yeah, this this is the it's start of choice. the problematic elements of this movie because this character, I see what they're trying to do here, but it's a little heavy handed sometimes. A well, little bit. I, I, I try to imagine the much. world in which he exists, right? Instead of different moving world out, than the rest of this movie. Yeah, yeah, that's because, the problem. Now, yeah. Let me get this straight, okay? If I if I've got this, Lay like, on me. that may have been a line from the movie. So. This guy worked as a janitor and uh, eventually saw that like some of the kids were being turned into uh, uh, automatons. Right, because yeah. like UV, he is pretending to be mentally challenged and they, the Blue Ribbons don't want but that. But when did he start that? Did he start that after he saw what was we'll happening? We'll never know, Colin. I because the, the idea is that basically like you never believe how people behave if they really think you're dumb, right? Yeah. So he put yeah. the effects of this, uh, you know, a persona so he can move around the school and gain access to secret information. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it turns out he's reading Kurt Vonnegut. God damn it. James Marsden calls him out. Yeah. It was like, you like your Kurt Vonnegut, don't you? And, uh-huh. uh, it's like, you oh, it can be out. dumb and read Kurt Vonnegut. <laughs> yeah. I just want to like, point that out. Right. I just want to put that That's out probably there. probably like, what, an eighth grade reading level max? For, for sure. Just you know, because you have a book grade, doesn't mean yeah. that you understand the book. He may like the pretty pictures in it. What do you people know? <laughs> it had a nice cover. But <laughs> yeah. So and so I thought, right, uh, on the re- this is a rewatch. I hadn't seen this since the theater. And I thought that in my mind, he had actually uncovered the secret uh, weapon 
against the uh, the, the the kids, so, which like was, turn kind them, of. something but, like. But he discovers back. it in in the course of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't already have this. Yeah. So I'm like, when did he start actually like becoming this uh, persona? Right. And it doesn't make any sense. Like, wouldn't they know? Like, I remember when you were the janitor five he's years still ago. Janitoring. Like, yeah. yeah. Like and he has to he has to maintain the persona when he leaves the school and goes out into the I think he's mopping. Sean's uh, Sean's miming. Uh, you don't yeah. mop like this. What no, do you do? No. Okay. That was like butter <laughs> churn. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do when you're on yeah. the custodial staff. Um, <laughs> Violently churn. That, that was a shake yeah. weight. So don't do that in front of children. Yeah, don't do that in front of me. But anyway, he does uh, accidentally discover because he's a rat catcher. Because every school has this. You know, every God, uh, I hope not. Every janitor's chasing rats down in the in the basement. Oh. But uh, he discovers the means. <laughs> To how to disrupt, as Sean has pointed out, the the, the chip. There's a microchip. there's a chip implanted in their eye that uh, is there's something. I think there's a sensor in their eye and a yeah. chip in their brain. Yeah. According to one very short yeah. scene that right. we see earlier, that never pays off because that girl didn't. never shows back up again. No. If I remember correctly, right? Yeah, yeah. That can apparently be like manipulated by radio waves. Right. right, and so I think it catches think, interference. Right, in the which we would understand. We don't understand the rest of this. movie. I under, understand. I say in quotes the rest of this movie if we didn't have that scene. But yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. whatever. Well, we have a scene where yeah, the scene you're talking about is we see Bruce Greenwood. Working on like one of the kids who right. has malfunctioned. Mm-hmm. Right, and this is after she um, uh, bashes her head, bashes her head into the mirror, mirror. and had right. to leave mm-hmm. and everything. Yes, and so yeah. and so that that gives the game away. That's yeah. like okay, Bruce Green, Greenwood's been putting uh, chips in their head because uh, it's that easy to do, and and reprogramming right. these kids rather than just insinuating that, which we pretty much got. Right, right. They're just mm-hmm. like here it is, black and white on the board. Mm-hmm. But the kids are still trying to figure this out. They haven't gotten there yet, and no. they're like, you know, they find out that the doctor. Must be uh, part of this uh, conspiracy. Yeah. The doctor so used let's to look work. Him up. Yeah, yeah. Where did he come from? <laughs> he came from this mental institution on the mainland, and so the greatest. And scene now starts in the-, the other movie. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. And this is like my God. The- uh, oh, just, God. Uh, I just want to say up front, this whole scene's really hard to watch because it's-, it's just pointless to the rest oh. of the movie, and it's problematic as fuck, and just. Oof! Just I mean, or Ooh, yeah. or an indictment Ooh. of how he handled this probably earlier on in the system. Both, yeah. I would say it can be both, yeah, sure, yeah, but not handled well. No, no, because it's supposed to be for comedic effect. It seems. No, it's supposed to be scary. This is, is your it? horror. It's, it's a scary. horror movie. It's without supposed to be. Fright. Yeah. I think the idea of the patients screaming and all of a sudden appearing at and windows, the windows yeah. and behaving zombie like, yeah. you know, and all that is supposed to be frightening. Which is supposed the, to be. Which to is these a problem. Kids yeah. who are. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, basically, from the kid mentality, old people are frightening. You know, I mean, like, that's kind of truly. So, no, but there was like a weird trope at this time that was like mental institution horror. And this stuff. scene goes yeah. on for a bit. It's they, the weirdest fucking scene. They Scooby Doo run through all these because floors they, and well, rooms they start and outside shit. and they're like, ooh, and it like we're, we're questioning like, is this place abandoned? What's going on here? Yeah. It, it's looks got it looks the abandoned. The electricity It looks on. like Arkham Asylum. Yeah, it truly does. Or, dirty. Like a, or the, the place from the beginning of House on Haunted Hill. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, but and so they're like sneaking into it, and we're like, okay, so it's an abandoned place, and then suddenly it's not. Yeah. Suddenly there's you know yeah. the scary faces that show up in uh, the their room. And it's window. so dark like, so it almost looks like they're underwater. Like yeah, it's right. so yeah. dark in there. Yeah. Right. It is. It's like a fun house or yeah. a uh, haunted house. And at this somehow, point. like these two are able to not only get in the hospital, but there's like, one security get guy. into like the patient wing. Like right. go into every room of this. Place. No, but yeah. it's amazing. I, I like. I love. I love from a, a, an academic standpoint, like how <laughs> movies can kind of compress time, and you just go with it. Yeah. This one broke my brain, so I couldn't. <laughs> they, because yeah. it was like. It. They pull up outside the, the, the hospital. The next scene is they're in the hospital, and she's like, I don't think we should be doing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they went, they, climbed, three, they, they like, climbed three flights of stairs and went into two rooms before yeah. she made that statement. And you're yeah. going like, is this an abandoned hospital? They're looking for records. I got it. I understand our mission I've here. seen Resident Evil. I know yeah. that's how this works. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, like, it's everything, because every movie, you know, The Ring, you know, at yeah. some point yeah. you have to yeah. go you to gotta the... You got to get the files. Yeah, right. get Nobody the file. pulls it off as good as Malignant when they pull up on a seaside cliff yeah that's the best place to get files well, that's, that's, that's how you go get Hill files inspired yeah. right there but oh, there's yeah. not even any file porn in this no. i know so because they're not files. after a file after yeah. they don't know what they're looking for they but they're know. all of a sudden no. in a hospital that is apparently occupied and, 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 and operating and operating 
and with no you're, supervision. And you're like, but how with, the fuck did but they with get in nurses here? Nurses who are dressed like '50s nurses with the hats and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this looks like a one flew over the cuckoo's nest situation yeah. for sure. But, but it like, shouldn't oof. be. Yeah, because it's 1998. It shouldn't yeah. look right. like the fucking even 40s if the place looks yeah. dilapidated and it's from yeah. the 30s. And the, the people in it are shouldn't. Wandering the halls. They're young. They're loose and, everywhere. Yeah. 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 This um, is again. I'll bring it up again. Titty cut follies. Everybody, go look that up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they eventually do find uh, uh, the linchpin in the mystery. They find uh, the <laughs> doctor's that Bruce right Greenwood's <laughs> daughter. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Oof, so, that's yeah. Just we're just getting fed information. It's like yeah. it's his daughter. This means eh, oh everything. She keeps repeating this phrase, which doesn't actually yeah. mean anything. Right. She's and just, so but she's just getting louder and louder. And <laughs> James Mars is like, shut, shut up, up, shut up, <laughs> shut up. And then Katie Holmes punches her in the face. Yeah, but she took decisive action at that moment. They just the, sneak into a, a mental institution to assault, assault the patients. The patients. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and because then the leave. zombie hordes are approaching they the are, door. They're on the windows. Yeah. But yeah. And the security guards are wise that there's something going on. They're like, like oh, you got shit. this backwards. The horror movie is from the patient's perspective. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. These the people yeah. broke in and they started hitting yeah. us. <laughs> Imagine you're minding your own business trying to heal your brain. Like if someone came Holmes down here right now and just you. started punching yeah. us. Like, well, okay, but I, I guess from the character's point of view, right, we know that there's something, that, you know, like, that, follow me on this logic, right? Yes. It's like we've seen kids disappear and they come back and they're changed. Yes. We know that the doctor's involved in it because we saw the, the PTA meeting where the, everybody selected. Yes. We go follow his backstory on the mainland. He was at this institution and his daughter is there and she's repeating a phrase as his daughter. We're like, oh my God, he used to work here. And that saw, like, so how do they know what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't understand what that means. Uh, it, it, my, <laughs> well, mind control, Colin, because uh, the scene before, like, Katie Holmes has looked up something about him, and she, uh, no, I don't know what she said, goddammit, I wish I did. Oh, it Neuro- was... Uh, pharmacology. Neuropharmacology. And, he, and James Parson goes... Mind, mind control. control. She had, they cut back to her on that look where she's like, yep. Uh, just uh, like, yeah. what, what do you people know? I are you like, 30 or are you 17? I feel like this is the most successful game of catchphrase in the history. <laughs> yeah. right, real quick. No, um, we did better. We My, did do Michael better. Emerson. Yeah. Do you not remember Michael Emerson? What did we do? We were playing catchphrase or whatever the thing is. Yeah, catchphrase, catchphrase out there. Yeah. You had no idea and I just shouted out Michael Emerson and it was the correct answer. That was it. You don't remember this? It was one of the greatest nights of my life. <laughs> John's like, how could you not remember? How could you not? I totally. How could you not remember this building block in our relationship? I remember this night. We were on fire. We, we were, were No, like, that was a good night. It was amazing. Okay. I just didn't remember that was the clue. Yes. We used yeah. to play a lot of catch Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I was epic. So, it was great. It was but great. somehow this cements the idea that the, the guy's been putting the, the robot chips in people. I guess that's why we needed the scene of to see him actually do it. Because otherwise, without it, you don't really know. Like I, this we is have enough red glowing eyeballs and movements to know, well, that, know something that something has but been done. But that could be a possession thing. Yeah, it could be a no, possession. It could be an alien thing. It could be a robot Our, thing. Yeah, yeah. robots. Because yeah. they, they keep referring to them as robots, yeah. but they're not. Well, they're, and when the one guy malfunctions, he moves, and like there's whirring noises, <laughs> like he has gears, like he's a that robot was funny. moving. He goes, he's yeah. like, he's walking. But that doesn't like, make any that's, fucking that's, sense. He's glitching all over. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. He's not a robot. But if your mind is malfunctioning, robot or not, you stuff like that. But he was. Have you seen a guy with Tourette's? But the sound effects... That guy has no chips in his head. But the sound effects told me there was metal joints, like, moving There was no worrying. I dare you to go back and watch it. (laughs) I'll I'll put it on. No, you'll do it. I won't have to. You'll do it. (laughs) No, you know what? No, I won't. (laughs) That will eat you alive, and you will go back and check. I'm out of this game. At, like, 2 2 a.m. tonight, we'll get a message of, like, a video of Sean's... You don't know me. ...of that exact scene. I looked it up because the video capture of it, there's nothing. Yeah, I don't need to because I know he'll do it, so... Well, so you you also don't know uh, that uh, I will never do it now, <laughs> never because you said I would. So follow. So let me follow this then. If I if I'm correct, then uh, so the doctor doesn't know that they went to the mental institution, correct? Right, yes. because correct. this information is news to him when he has James Marson under the knife later on. Correct. So what actually happens is Katie Holmes and James Marson come back. And they're like, we got to get the fuck out of this town. Uh-huh. And uh, they they almost get arrested by the uh, the cop who's in on the Who whole thing. Who's just assaulting people left and right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the janitor's helping out. He's knocking the cop out and all this yeah. stuff. And they go home. Big rat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Marston goes home and finds out, oh shit, my parents have enrolled me in the program. Now, I never got the impression because we never have scenes of his parents. We going never like, saw his parents until this point, right? No, well, we saw them. We saw them. Yeah. But there's no scenes where they are like, you're acting so different. And I wish we could, you know, there was the opportunity for that because he got into a fight there in the was, lunchroom with there the, was the blue scene, ribbons. There was the scene when they were sitting down to dinner and uh, he right. was like, Step-sisters? and he was. Well, it was the sister and yeah. his sister's friend. I yeah, think. who yeah, just come over? Yeah, and he was like, "Oh, well, you're not. Are you allowed to talk about your dead grandpa? Because in this house, we can't talk about a dead yeah. brother." So yeah. that's the justification for yeah. it. Now right. gotta, He's not gotta, the same. Well, we only, just want you to be the they same. Saying, only, it's only been eight months, is what they say. Yeah, yeah. this is very recent. It's very recent. Like, this, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually mom and dad's problem. That yeah. But so, he should I, just I, be over I, it by now. No, it's what Michaela said earlier. Like they think they can just run away from the problem. No, you need therapy. Yeah. I've seen. Um, parents have this overreaction before to certain things. It's been drugs before, but my friend, uh, I mean, he smoked weed, but and his parents thought it was such a huge thing yeah. that their overreaction was like, "We're going to send you to a pig farm in Colorado, <laughs> where you will just castrate <laughs> hogs for an entire year until you learn to be Shut a better up. human being." No, that really kid that you not. you not. Such an insane overreaction. I've never parents. I've, I've never known that to actually happen. Yeah, oh yeah. He always told me stories about having to castrate pigs and shit. <gasps> it's nuts. You're killing me. Shut up. Kid you not. Is it, do they do it with like the prongs of the rubber band that you slip over? Or no? I do think they do so. More Wait, like, there was a lot okay, of knife talk. Off mic, I have questions. Okay. Yeah. And I just want to know, did, did it work? Oh no! Oh, not at all. Yeah. all right. Well, no, 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 anything, no, no, no. We cannot be on the parents' side. Of this. It did not work, no, Colin. No, I was that, just curious. It's a method. More I mean, who yeah. Is? I was like, I would be on more drugs yeah. if I had to <laughs> castrate pigs. I, I would have to get that out of my head. Yeah. yeah. I gotta oh, punch bro. out from the day somehow, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, Marston ends up in the doctor's lair where he's about to be uh, fire in the mm-hmm. sky. Right? There's Basically, the eyeball yes. trauma is about yep. to happen. Although fire in the sky did it so much better because I didn't get that. Like, ooh, the fucking thing's going into its eye. Because it took forever to get there and yeah, 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 it can't, well. it can't be yeah. a quick process yeah, yeah. although i do remember watching this scene in the 90s and i i was creeped out little, little i thing. think we yeah, would be back the then yeah and then yeah. he 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 but he has uh, uh somehow gotten a hold of a scalpel He's and cuts himself free scalpel, yeah. and he, yeah. he arnold schwarzenegger in total recall kills the so he, so he actually yeah. kills a dude he actually i think it's the first uh no Does he, the, he just the, knocks him out I thought he fucking. He's, I thought he stabbed no, him. Yeah, he no, no, stabbed no. He him. uses the arm of the chair, which yeah. goes up and down, With to punch pin. him in the face. No, he no, fucking he put it in the scalpel. There's, like a, pe- there's like a piece oh, of, the, of the. Oh, did he get him with it? And it's like Ooh. dripping blood. Oh, I missed that part. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he does. Yeah. But at this point, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, yeah. So because yeah. it's edited within an inch of its life. Within that's why, an that's inch why you didn't catch it. So uh, then they escape him with Katie Holmes. He rescues her. They get out, and of course they're surrounded by the crazy kids who show up. Everywhere, which ha- just always know where they're going to be and know, know how to. With the chips in their head, and they can converge, and, and they're all connected. Black it's a road. hive mind. But like, why did they stop? Couldn't they just drive through these people? And like, why point, is it a problem to you? not drive through these people? Right. This movie goes out of its way to yeah. not run them over, and they get out. Yeah. Like, this a whole there's a I whole thing here that. with like. Uh, this scene especially doesn't make sense because Bruce Greenwood is there with the students and everything and they stop the truck it has got all our main characters in it and then um, the janitor comes by not playing his sound boxes that drive mm-hmm. them crazy mm-hmm. he just drives up and kind of drives through Bruce Greenwood and off to the side well Bruce Greenwood plugs him because Bruce Green- well, he's Greenwood he's shooting through the shoots, windshield yeah. and everything yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and so but he hits him and but then he drives off down a side road with him and everyone starts all the students and everyone start going after Bruce or the janitor and everything but not yet yes, yeah he does. yeah yes, he, he did does. that's why they were following that's why they're him following no him. but at a certain point he's standing there talking to him and he hasn't done it yet no There's, he brings it well he plays it and they all get freaked out and then he gets to then he there is a moment off. where they t- run after him for no reason when they could stay there and handle the characters. Well, I, the the gist. Of the I may movie, have to go back and watch. What this. it's trying to do is it somehow. God damn it! Freebie, Pluto and two. Uh, the uh, the the janitor has rigged up a bunch of uh, boom boxes mm-hmm. that are yeah. all like playing this. Uh, so he yeah, it's a, it's a signal or sound that he yeah. uses to kill or attract rats mm-hmm. that somehow works on these kids. They freak out and they're like they it short circuits them, but they all want to hop on it and destroy. Well, all yeah, the they want it like if they can get rid of the sound, then yeah. their problems. So will be he solved. drives off a cliff and takes them all, kind of like the Pied Piper, yeah, right? Because he has a shot. He, he yeah. Takes yeah. Them, drowns them all in the river, yeah. and uh, Bruce all, Greenwood. All of them allegedly. We'll and Bruce Greenwood survives, yeah. and there's a fucking roadhouse fight uh, between him. <laughs> yeah, and Yeah, they came Carson. out of nowhere. 
Yeah, yeah. it's your final boss showdown, yeah. I guess. You yeah. gotta have it. And then uh, I think uh, James Morrison uh, kicks uh, Bruce Greenwood over the, the cliff by saying, be the ball. Be the ball. Because that was what a, that was a useless line they said earlier that made no sense. So right. it was a reference to earlier. They're, they're, they're all motivated. They brought it. Get it. No, no, they brought it back and it still right. makes they're no sense. They're all supposed to be yeah. motivational. Yeah. The first time. Yeah. Motivational phrases and speeches and stuff. Mm-hmm. Be like, you can be the best you can be. Be the ball. Yeah. See the ball, be the ball, which mm-hmm. is the first part of the be the ball mm-hmm. part. The eight but, ball yeah. or the cue ball. Is that what we're talking about? I think it's the ball you hit. Okay. You just got to keep your eye on the In ball. Athletics. Everything oh, we just said, ball. right? Everything we just oh, said okay. right now, as much sense as it doesn't make to us, yep. it doesn't make in this movie. Yeah. So we're like, okay, everybody saved because uh, uh, these uh, kids were never going to see them actually go out into the world. William Sadler says, "Thank right. God," because he took uh, he took the the the, the he fell in the grenade and took them all yep. into the deep because yep. they did have Chekhov's waterfall. Which was set up in like the very beginning of the yeah, movie. Yeah, because when we saw that, I'm like, I remember a certain scene in this movie. Yep. It was the end. Had the matte painting or whatever the waterfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're like, okay, the world is saved, but cut to. <sighs> we need more movie for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this just wasn't good enough. Well, I mean, he does. He gets on his dirt bike. He rides to the ferry. He reunites with oh, Katie, right. he Katie Holmes. He wipes out hard on he that truly does. dirt he bike, does. though. He yeah. reunites yeah. with Katie Holmes, UV, and his sister. Yep. What happened to the parents? Kathy it's not known. It's not known. Yeah. Doesn't matter. No, but uh, they're also. bad because they signed them up for the program. We got to yeah. leave our parents and forge our own way in the <laughs> yeah. world. That yeah. is how <laughs> it has to go. That's what the movie is. You and I right. against the world, man. Yep. And so their home's going to be wherever we wherever we land or wherever, mm-hmm. wherever we, we are. Yep. Home is where the heart We're is. Like, ah, it's a happy ending. Sure, I'll survive. But <laughs> happy. But yeah. there's a new student teacher. At a yeah. school, yeah, like, they, they, some this, inner this city is, school. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then we go uh, set up the sequel, Black Disturbing Behavior, mm. because that is exactly yeah. what yeah. they're saying. Because mm-hmm. we've gone to a quote unquote inner city school, right. yeah. which means it's far tougher. Like I don't like what any yeah, of this is this saying. Feel good. And, yeah. No, it's just don't, like this yeah, is none of it feels good. None yep. of this is good. Yep. Like and we went from the, the patients, and now we're at the. Uh, yep. mm-hmm. Well, here's what I didn't get about it. Okay. I mean, get like okay. So the the big surprise Colin, reveal. Racism is uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the reveal is that the student teacher is Gavin. Yeah. He has somehow yeah. next doll. Yes. Yeah. And it, it makes no put, sense because he went over the into the waterfall, right? He got driven over. We, I didn't it. actually. See no, it. I don't see him specifically. Yeah. But here's uh, what I don't. He get. should be there. Yeah. Yes, I agree. So, I mean, the the implication is that one of them got away, and that somehow the doctor's experiments are going to continue. Although I don't understand. I don't think it. Gavin knows what's happened to him or how to do it to other people. And he's like case, 18. How is he becoming a student teacher? Right. We don't know the, how long in the future the, the ending happens. This is very true. There's yeah. a lot of questions I, I here. I mean, yeah, but they, if it was five years, they could have told us five years later before they cut to the scene. Something you know? like, like that would have been more yeah, interesting. Yeah. But also, like, at the end, and it's not unironic because he was later in a Terminator movie, but his his right eye flashes red, mm-hmm. and then we go to black. It would have been very funny if, like, the students in the room had seen that. <laughs> like, if we if the scene had gone on for, like, five more seconds, they were yeah. all like, what the fuck was that? And then cut to black? <laughs> yeah. That would have been better. But no. It would have been better. It would have been better. How did he survive? Oh, it still wouldn't have made no any idea. sense. No, no, no sense at all. But it's like at this funnier. point, like it's not scary. It's just like a robot dude that's going to be the t- their teacher. Yeah, because right. he doesn't know My anything about teacher. the fucking My program. robot teacher. No, yeah. he doesn't. He doesn't know how to do it, what the research was, how no, to do yeah. this to other yeah. people. It's not implanted no. just because he got the thing. Right. And it's he not doesn't acquire, Right. He yeah. doesn't acquire all the knowledge. So this right. is technically not but a He can be like, you can be a better person. So he's like a fucking motivational speaker. I was like, if anything, I think he's going to be like a good teacher. A youth teacher. He might. Might be. <laughs> like, this, is, this just gives them youth pastor energy. Yeah. That's all right. it does. It's gonna like, edgy, he's, right, yeah. exactly. It's there you pastor. go. He's a youth pastor <laughs> now, yeah. which is the better way to end this movie. Yeah. If they, oh end my up god, if he sat down with the guitar, the yeah. Oh yes, god, yeah. he's like, hello, students, and yeah. then he pulls out the guitar. Let me tell you about a friend of mine named Jesus. Please pull out your Bibles. So, as far as I know, there there was no direct video disturbing behavior too. No, there was not. Okay, and the director's cut. Money, so. The masterpiece that is still out we'll there never be is ne- never going to be seen. Okay. No, Let's check it. I can't imagine. And the Blu-ray is out of movie print. Made probably like less than two million dollars. So it is not. Yeah, but I saw yeah. it. God damn it! I was there supporting this movie. <laughs> Me I'm too. Like, Thank you. I Holly, probably would have been too. Had I, I'm, I'm sure. I remember watching on the camera. I don't know why I didn't go see this in theaters, having seen all the advertising for it and everything. I mean, because you're like, oh, it's another scream movie. There was, I know what you did last summer. Right. In disturbing We're behavior. in that teen area. Area. Like urban legends. School. I'm Shit's pretty sure the reason I don't remember. Because I was making out during it. Yeah. yeah. So you needed that extra 30 minutes. I did. See? Yep. 
you would have stayed past 90 minutes, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. <laughs> Prove that studio yeah. wrong. It's true. All right. Well, that is disturbing behavior. Now we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch the movie. But first of all, we are going to summon our mailman, Igor, so we can read some of your mail. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He wrote in here on all the rats from the movie. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you think he's in the blue ribbon society? No, nah, he's got bro. his own society. He's got I, chips in there, but it's nothing. <laughs> like yeah. that. Right, you've seen him glitch before, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> as, as he glitches yeah. and mail goes flying everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like, we should uh, it's like popping out a SIM card. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how it works. We should let the good folks at home know how they can contribute to this exciting interactive portion of our show by following along. On Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or they can email us directly. Saturday Night Freak Show Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Although I will make a note right here that, uh, yes, we are still on threads. Oh. And Travis Legler wrote in to say, okay, fine, I've commented. <laughs> <laughs> Did he comment on okay. threads? Yeah. That's okay. Thank you. know what? I was going to say, I appreciate that. else on threads? Yeah. I appreciate yeah, he that he went to threads. Only. He's like, I will make a comment on threads. Yeah. Now Still people are going to do it all the time and just drive us nuts. Uh, <laughs> MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, wants us to know that we are inducting several people nice. from this so. movie, starting with William Sadler. Oh, yeah. Because he was in. Disturbing behavior. He was also in. There's Bill and Ted in there somewhere because we did a time travel. Set, uh, we did the first Bill and Ted, not okay. the second one. He was death in the second one, so we didn't do that. But oh, we did no. do. Okay. Right, last week, Billy Zane was in Demon Night with Bill, uh, William oh, Sadler. Uh, William yep. Sadler, yeah. And he was also the Senator Vernon Trent in Hard to Hard Kill. Hard to Kill, yeah. Catherine Isabel is Vernon. also coming to the wall because she was in Disturbing Behavior, Ginger Snaps, mm-hmm. and, and Insomnia. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Hallway of Fame? I don't know. For her, oh, she, oh, she, she, goes, she right goes on the wall. Yeah. She goes on the wall. Yeah, oh, yeah. she's the wall. But the next one, uh, Natasha Malth, Malth was nope. in disturbing behavior. She was Mary Jo Copeland. She was the uh, the, the blow, violent blowjob oh. victim. <laughs> she was also in Lake Placid, and she was the French maid in Halloween Resurrection. Wow, we all remember Ooh, that. Okay, okay. and wow. she had a line. Yeah, <laughs> all line. What was the line? She you would line. know this. Yeah, show. I would know this as line. the expert on oh, Halloween fuck, I remember Resurrection. The line. Yeah, she well, seems welcome very. Welcome to the hallway. She, I think it was. She's a very good actress. There I think go. it was the line. Okay. Uh, Joe Joy <laughs> Brazo was the dairy cab driver, and it was Principal Weathers in Disturbing Behavior, which we watch, yeah. and okay. was in Insomnia, as I believe the coroner. Uh, a lot of the, the insomnia disturbing behavior Venn diagram is getting Truly, bigger than I, I thought it would be. <laughs> Truly. Uh, Judith He wasn't Maxie. eating in that movie, though. No. Right. No. So that's yeah, corners have yep. to be chewing on yep. a sandwich or yeah. something. Judith, Ma- Judith Maxey was uh, the shadow woman in disturbing behavior. I don't even know what, what the fuck that is. Sh- Uncredited as the shadow woman. Maybe somebody in the mental hospital. She yeah. was also oh, no. uh, in The Resurrected playing oh. do- uh, Dr. Lyman and in Catwoman playing a jeweler. That's a hallway. That's a hallway. That's a hallway. That's a that, she's waiting in line for the hallway. Yeah, well, that's thank a, that's you. A, that's the vestibule. Again, uh, right. that, that's that's the. Here's our waiting room. Yeah. But I appreciate that uh, MF Mad is going out there. Oh no! Oh no! I would. I love that stuff. we have yes. we are ex, we have expanded into different areas yeah. in which to put these pictures. Your uh, the basement is getting very full. Very full. Yeah. Uh, about the tonight's yeah. <laughs> of the center. But I like that we have a vestibule and a hallway yeah, and like yeah. all stuff. Is in the he's doing the Lord. We work. should have. Uh, we're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna get to like the refrigerator. Of <laughs> yeah, we can put you on the fridge yeah. for a week. That's fine. <laughs> little magnet. Uh, yeah, a little, little magnet on there. <laughs> well, about tonight's movie, disturbing behavior. Grain Colbert writes in oh. and says. Razor. <laughs> razor. Really fucking razor, man. Is that Stephen Colbert writing it under, as an assumed name, <laughs> but not hiding Colbert. it very well? Uh, G Money writes in and says, Paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me. That's the lyrics from the theme song. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Which is... It's from Harvey Danger. Flag I was going to say, did we talk about the fact that the Harvey yeah. Danger song plays Harvey while they're Danger. running out of the mental Flag institution? Is, is playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I love. That great song. Is this supposed great to be song. funny? This is where the tone and confusion yeah. comes for me, but th- that was definitely studio. I think it's yeah. supposed to be like edgy. Yeah. 
I, I think. Fun. I don't know. I don't know what they were trying <laughs> to do. It feels it's, very scooby It's very, yeah, the 90s where it was just grunge and it was whatever weird. all just, over just everything. Just decisions were we made this scene yeah. in the 90s. It in. Yeah, yeah, it didn't make sense. We're just still trying to figure out if they were good or bad. Damn it. Sell that soundtrack. No. Uh, G Money also says, this is the overcoat, long sleeves, overhands, 90s vibe. I wish I was still around today. Yeah. All yes. the teens look 30. Under a short sleeve shirt. Yep. All the teens look 30, and to be an outcast mean you have to be have black makeup, are albino, and or awkwardly dance on cars. I always mm-hmm. remember the trailers with that distinct trailer, distinct trailer voice for movies during this era, and I'm surprised they didn't get five DTV sequels like Wild <laughs> Things. You know? Yeah. I'm surprised. Ironically, yeah. G-Money, I went back and watched the trailer, and there is no trailer voice in this trailer. At least the one that I was oh. able to pull up on YouTube. But I know who you're yeah, talking I'm about. I'm sure there were others. Maybe a like, TV uh, spot with a voiceover happened. There were always tons of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can only, yeah, this is the. It just means uh, it's not on YouTube. Right. Yeah. The advertising yeah. machine, I guarantee, was going nuts for this. Oh, yeah. 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 James Mace says uh, the photo that we posted of Katie Holmes uh, for our uh, mailbag says that's a look she gave Tom Cruise when he said, embrace Scientology or be cast out, heathen. <laughs> <laughs> she was yeah. cast out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Miller says, that's, that's I, like the theme of this movie. <laughs> yeah. Jeff Miller says, I love this movie. Stahl, Marsden and Holmes seem like the click I would hang out with in high school. And then there's Johnny Five's long lost brother. Laugh out loud. The main song is pretty catchy, too. I'm confused that's on the so Johnny Five's long lost brother. Because you're talking short circuit. That's I assume, what I or think John of. Five from uh, Marilyn Manson and Rob uh, Zombie. I don't know. Because okay. then it could be. Uh, what's his name? The albino kid. Oh, maybe. Oh, what's his UV? UV. UV. Okay. I, okay. I think I understand what you're Not saying. Not sure. Joey Blythe writes in and says, I've always mixed this title up with cruel intentions. Ah. It's kind of weird that Gavin only speaks in exposition dump. Also, yes. yeah. while trying to figure out what happened to Nick Stahl, I discover what Hosea saw a Shutter exclusive, and the trailer looks good. Huh. Was Hunter Hunter also a Shutter exclusive? Yeah. Nick Stahl uh, is yeah. now like a Shutter guy. Yeah, he is a Shutter guy. All right, he can make a good living. Though. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised he doesn't do conventions just for like. I Sin- knew yeah. you were going to bring that up. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. Sin City alone. <laughs> you think. Seems like he would. Yeah. Uh, Steve Carney says disturbing behavior makes a really good double feature with the faculty, which needs a damn boutique Blu-ray release already. Mm. Which the faculty? Yeah, yeah, I would take a, fa- a boutique faculty release. But which would you show first, disturbing behavior or the faculty? You got to go with the good one first. The good no, one you gotta end. You, you gotta, gotta end, end good. good you gotta okay. end with faculty. Other people are gonna be pissed at you. Yeah, you okay. gotta end with the good one. I was gonna go. You go with the faculty, then you. Literally. Then everyone no. can leave. Then they shut off disturbing behavior. <laughs> oh. uh, or or not. Spoiler alert. If you're actually gonna watch both, you need the palate cleanser. Um, there, yeah, that's too close. You gotta yeah. do something. There's gotta be three in that one. Whoa, that's okay. too much of the same flavor. Michael Whitaker says. It's very of its time, but I always enjoy stories like this. It may have been the movie that introduced me to America's favorite go-to actor, James Marsden. <laughs> Seriously, that dude go. is a Swiss army knife, and he seems to work in whatever you put I him agree. in. Yeah. I like that. America's I go-to yeah. actor. That's a pretty yes. good title for him. Yes. I like that. Everyone uh, just has goodwill towards that guy, you know? I think yeah, I it'll th- grow. I, bet, yeah. I right. think eventually another 10 years, and you'll be like, James Marsden's been around for like, a long fucking time. Right. Do you and think he'll get check. a legacy Oscar just because like, he's maybe. so I think, I think if maybe he like he'll grow into like, and do some like really heartfelt Wait, shit at a certain point. And was get he the Oscar. one person not in Oppenheimer? Like, ha, yeah. like, that's, did he not he make the cut for Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer. Yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah. Yeah. right. you're right. Like, he should have been. Everyone <laughs> else is in that movie. How is that's he true. not in it? Right. Even yeah. Hannon, like, so, give him something. He yeah. should be in it. He yeah. has earned the right to be in it. Yes, Excellent. he has. Maybe I actually had to starting. think about it for a second. I was like, was he? Was yeah. he in that right. movie? Right. No, he ne- <laughs> he's the one yeah. like, you never know what, he's like, was he in that he, movie? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. He could have been. Maybe we're starting the wave of James Marsden appreciation right here mm-hmm. tonight. It'll continue to grow for me. You've heard it here first. But that's yeah. the thing. That's I don't think the wave grows or gets smaller. I think it's just a constant wave in the ocean. Yeah. James yeah. Marsden. Mm-hmm. Sailing. Sailing. Uh, you guys know we've talked way too positively about him, and tomorrow he's going to be canceled. God now, right? damn it! It's oh, gonna fuck. happen. We've 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 said it. it. We've, yeah. we've named it, and we've claimed it. All it's all Brian Singer, but okay. Yeah. Let's stop. I don't want to go there. All right, let's yeah. not, stop I do not accept Ill. that. Yeah. Uh, no. Travis Legler writes in and says, "Isn't this a movie where a kid that kind of reminds you of a little Buddy Repperton is in love with his car, and then something happens to him, and he destroys it in front of the school?" 
If so, then I keep getting this movie confused with the faculty. Are all the the teachers and everybody here in on this too? Because this is like, who would allow a bunch of students to just destroy yeah. a car yeah, on school the property? Teachers, the teachers well, they are because it's part of the. PTA. Have you not gone to a school where rich kids are treated differently than other kids okay, in school? Because <laughs> like that was pretty accurate to but my even experience. That seems like, like a yeah. bit much. Like yeah. we brought this here to destroy it. I literally went to a Christian party where we beat up a car. Well, yeah. But, the, 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 but the, the purpose was to beat up the car, right? Wasn't that the purpose in this movie? Yeah. No, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, is there anything yeah. behind? Leaving his old you know, life behind. Well, there were, it was cathartic. The, it was yeah. a cathartic slaughter. I've seen schools and stuff put together stuff to destroy a car on purpose for yeah. like Good reasons, like yeah. fundraising and all that stuff. No, it wasn't There's a no fundraiser. This yeah. is just a no, it was just, it was What just kind of Christian cards. were you, Holly? It was just a fun thing to do at a party. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah. I, mean, that's, I mean, that's why they brought it in okay. to destroy it. a little junker car. And like, yeah. Okay, what kind of car? It's like a smash it's room. A crap okay, yeah, crap yeah. car. Yeah. Yeah. It's if a crap the, car. All right, if the car wasn't Not a fucking cherry Mustang. It was literally bring your own bat. Yeah. It's still, you can take that frame, Colin. Maybe the frame was all bad. How much effort went into making the outside look good even if the inside shit? No, I can't condone it. All right. I have Pornography thoughts. is what <laughs> yeah. we're saying. Yeah. Was. True um, last week, we watched a movie called Dead Calm. B Movie yeah, Vault oh, yeah. writes in and says, Fantastic choice. I revisited this for the first time in forever recently, and it held up incredibly well. Mm-hmm. True, it was on the same day I watched the original Mortal Kombat movie, <laughs> which may have made Dead Calm seem <laughs> even better in there comparison. I get it. That's the double feature we didn't know we needed. <laughs> Richard Kratzer says, Holly, you nailed the Nicole Kidman intro. She would have been proud, and thank you all so much. I'm honored he wrote the uh, the AMC mm-hmm. pledge that we yes, adapted. Thank you. He adapted. Okay. Adap- right. Uh, yes, best adaptation. Glad from- I did you well. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the Oscar for best adapted screenplay goes, goes to <laughs> Richard Kratzer. For- if, should we give out awards to our listeners? <laughs> And on the year end episode, maybe, yeah. maybe. No, we're, not, we're not gonna, saying a whole ceremony, but maybe a few. We're yeah. going to put that under consideration. And we can yeah. like have a special place on the wall for them, if right? Like, I think so. Okay, um, keep this in the back of okay. your heads. Like the it. week before that, we watched a movie called Street Fighter, and yes. uh, Michael Piatowski says, being from Australia, every time JCVD is interviewed on Australian TV, they ask him about Kylie Minogue, and he <laughs> hates it. <laughs> I love that he That's keep like his doing curse, it. You right? Like yes, doing it. Stop. Yeah. Never stop. It's his curse Never for the rest stop. of his life. I love it. In I fact, love that it bothers in fact, him. Let's branch out to other countries. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. That's what you do Everyone get for doing cocaine. Him. Let him think once he's outside of Australia, he's safe, but yeah. he's not. He's not. <laughs> right. As well, soon as he touched down in London, they ask him about her, too. Sean yeah. Richards yeah. from the Australian press. Mr. <laughs> JCVD, I have a question for you. <laughs> Goddamn, we're in Alabama. What How does it like happen? to date uh, Kylie Minogue or hook up with her uh, on the set of Street Fighter? Mark Harrison writes in and says, this makes me think of the 2006 fighting game turned Hollywood film DOA, oh, also yeah. starring a neighbor's alumni turned pop star, Holly Valance. Huh. Interesting. Well, I've never I seen I know that worlds movie. are fucking colliding I think all over the guy that she was. <laughs> no, the, the not Margot Robbie actress? Yes. That, yeah, has the same face as, mm-hmm. as Yeah, her. which is Jamie, weird because yeah. Jamie Presley's been around longer. longer. Yes. She's done some like but never Poison Ivy and stuff. But never has gotten the heights. No, well, I mean, Rob depends. Movies. What? But DOA. Not, no, no, not, uh, no. Uh, no, not um, um, uh, acknowledged widely. Yeah, that's but for what I'm saying. People. Yeah, she's she's not she's never been Margot Robbie famous. No, ever. but again, maybe she's like uh, James Parson is very happy with her. Maybe, maybe. maybe. she did. It. People love her from uh, My Name Is Earl. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, thank you all, each one of you. Thank God you. bless you, people. God bless every one of us. And keeping and Merry your Christmas. <laughs> for, uh, gainfully employed. Now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Disturbing Behavior, starting with... Colin! Oh, shit. Yep, you're first tonight. What did you think of 1998's Disturbing Behavior? We should, like, for certain I, movies, we should have that year, like John Carpenter's. It should be 1998's. Disturbing, disturbing behavior. behavior. They should be added to the title card. Just to give you like a frame Just of reference. Just so you for, know yeah, what you know you're getting what, into. Yeah. Yes. Um, not a- I didn't like <laughs> yeah. it. <laughs> I'm shocked. Moving on. I, I, please, I, I, please expound. Well, I didn't like it then, and I didn't like it now. And trying to uh, you know understand like what was really wrong with the movie, I think you know you got to have uh, marks off for the attempt at creating. Uh, new teen slang mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. creative but bewildering not, and makes it, it basically unintelligible it was You're not like, very mint it was not very razor 
I was not very keen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have enough uh, acid in my spam. spam yeah, no, we probably there. needed that for this movie. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot more, but we didn't like. They went by and we're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> right. There was so many <laughs> things that we says... legitimately didn't know what they said. Yeah, yeah. you will need the yeah. words. Right, you will need yeah. subtitles for some yeah. of this. But even then, with like the subtitles, if it's nonsense, if it's not good, right? I'm yeah. like, how do I know if that's true or not? True, because you know? I've seen subtitles that are just not right for yep. things, and I'm just like, I heard that different. Well, I also have the curse of having actually seen The Stepford Wives, which is a really good fucking story and a yes. really yes. good, creepy, tense movie. Yes. You know? Who was the star of that? What's her name? Or- that was uh, Catherine Ross. Yes. Was the she star. was great. Yeah, she was great. I mean, but, it, that you know, the whole tension of, like, you know, these people who are supposed to love you uh, actually don't like you. <laughs> they have an right? idealized version of you that they want. Doesn't really come across in this to me right you know because it's supposed to be from like the teen perspective and it like it bleaches that part out of it you know yeah. like the relation between the kid and his parents yeah which, which separate is... wives is really all about it, mm-hmm. it feels like mm-hmm. you know it's like she loves right. her husband and her husband ends up going like eh, i don't really like you mm-hmm. you know I like right, because they make the friction between the students when yeah. it's technically between the parents and the kids so then it becomes a conspiracy movie where it's like we know these adults all you know want to have us become like this you know, uh, blank thing. Yeah. All of us. Easier exactly to deal with, basically. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I've seen it done better uh, in probably the Stafford ch- <laughs> children, which I did see in the eighties <laughs> or nineties or whenever that was on, uh, on TV. Um, Definitely eighties. I thought you can, you could feel it, that feel it, the, feel the it. movie Sorry. has been tinkered with, mm-hmm. you know, because oh, there yeah, are like, third act. Yeah, but even like this whole, there's a whole subplot involving the brother, which really doesn't have like a thematic payoff. I didn't think, yeah. I mean, as we're talking about it, you know, because initially I didn't pick up on the, the reason that he got rid of Nick Stahl's gun was because yeah. it was like, oh, because his brother shot himself. Mm-hmm. Like you put that together. I, I didn't. Right. And, and that makes sense. But yeah, the movie, like, the oh, movie isn't it like they trying, gloss over it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's not, not important. It. it literally doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just we know that he's bothered by this. and But it's like, I don't, what I guess it needed was, you know, like. Do we need your more brother? Angst? Well, they needed to do the, the parent thing where it's your brother was this awesome kid and, mm-hmm. you know, and he's dead and we need, you know, like you're not him. Right. And, and maybe so they, they see they him going down the him. same path and they're like, or we're not going to have it. We're not going to have Something. it happen to another right. child. These are all the scenes. And God, I don't know. You know, you folks out there have seen the, the, the DVD deleted scenes or maybe sitting yeah. there going like that's actually there in the other version. I, wonder. I don't know. I'm left with what we have. Eventually, as we get into the third act, it just spirals out of control and shit <laughs> happens for no reason. Yeah. So um, I think, uh, and I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal somebody's review here. I think Holly said it feels like a glorified TV movie. That is entirely mm. true. Mm. It does. And uh, I think, yeah, you can, you can skip disturbing behavior. Mm. Holly, what'd you think? Yeah, this movie is... Holly wouldn't if she could. Ugh, no, this is like 90s scraps woven together. Mm-hmm. Like, that's all this is. It's, it's... Like some of the clothing in this, it kind of yeah. feels... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I appreciated, like, the looks, like, took me back to that time. Appreciate that. But no, like, this is... It's literally just scraps of a movie woven together. And it's not even good. Like, the writing is already terrible. So then the, the horrible piece like splotchy editing is just like making it even worse it doesn't make sense the dialogue doesn't make sense the story doesn't make sense there's so many holes in this movie and it's not like in a funny way like we watch so many things that there's such a hot mess it's funny to watch sure. this is just confusing and it's, yeah there it's are only irritating. like three moments of legitimate laughter one is a cigarette spit uh, that was funny. That yeah. was funny. The t- <laughs> number two was like the guy walking away stuttering. The janitor, like, eh, eh, uh. the janitor literally spit his cigarette out on yeah. James Marston. <laughs> that was, that was funny. very funny. <laughs> but no, it's just it's a hodgepodge mess, and it's not entertaining in any way. Like the, I, I yeah, it's just it's some pretty people in the nineties. There's some like fun music that we remember, some fun fashion we remember, but no, it's. And I remember not liking it then. Even when I in 1998, I was what like 13, 14. So 13, I was 13. So 
back then I was not fully aware that movies could be bad. Right. right. But I still understood that it was a bad movie. Right. Because we were on a pretty a good stream of so these kind of movies coming into this. I mean, yeah. I'm looking at Scream and, and some other movies. Yeah. So to see this after all those, it's just like, oh. Yeah. I was definitely in that phase where I didn't really understand good and bad movies. But even then, I was like, yeah, this is not a good movie. Um, it, yeah, it doesn't hold up. We've seen all of it done better in different ways. Yeah. And, no. and 25 years has not helped it. No, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. Yeah. No, I. I <laughs> yeah. Not aged well. No. No fine wines here. Except for James Marsden and Katie Holmes. They both still look spectacular. Yeah. Can't deny that. Beautiful people. Nick Stahl, you were never a beautiful human being. He's same. Yeah, he's doing it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, no, I I would not recommend this at all. No, it sucks. Sean? Uh, I mean, Holly, everything you said. Colin, everything you said. I agree. I can't can't recommend it. No way. Uh, That's it. Like, uh, I I can't (laughs) say more than you guys have. Yeah. Uh, uh, That's pretty much it. It was so much cringe at the beginning of this movie. I was just, I was holding, I was just like, I don't know if I can take it. (sighs) And, but then it turned into like just a a bad movie and it continued to get worse. Like, you can tell it's been messed with. Uh, It's been edited, like you, Colin, you said, to within an inch of its life. And there is no saving it. They would really have to like go dig deep and release a completely different version of this movie for it to be coherent, good, uh, or successful at any point. Um, uh, this movie bombed, I believe. What made what? Yeah, yeah like yeah, less it, than two million. Yeah, it deserved yeah. it, and that's so. You should not watch mm-hmm. this movie. So uh, uh, I, I, I wondered why it had been so long since I'd seen this because I saw this probably once when it came out mm-hmm. and then didn't go back to it but always remembered it because it's you know disturbing behavior and it starred some people who are still stars to this day and you're like huh why didn't you go mm-hmm. back and watch that I have we have found out tonight why you should not go back and watch this so no yeah. Michaela why watch James Marsden and Jury Duty <laughs> yeah what, it, what brought that. you to this because <laughs> uh, we're not in Slaycation or anything like, no I had never, never seen, seen it before. before you through a list it. and you're like ooh let's try that I, one. I'd heard about it and I'd seen that DVD cover a yeah. million yeah, times yeah that is yeah. that's that yeah. in my head yeah yes. exactly um, and so yeah I just I watched the trailer and was like sure why not um, but, <laughs> which I mean, we all did sure yeah, why not it's a good nostalgia trip but that's not enough to recommend a movie ever really no, should come um, with a side of so cocaine. yeah and like i can't imagine someone who didn't live through this time watching this movie and enjoying it i really can't like right um because i'm enjoying being immersed in 1998 not the actual movie you know <laughs> yeah. so um yeah i know can't recommend it it's you're right it's it is dis- 1998 yeah. not the movie yeah yes. it's what disjointed was- and it just it you can feel the seams and it's just really shoddily put together and it's just kind of embarrassing for everyone yeah. involved, to be honest. Truly, like, yeah. Because so many of these people are better than this, you know. Um, but it it just reeks of quick cash grab to capitalize on scream kind of. Everybody stuff. involved might yeah, be better than and, this movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's just. Though, I will say though, there was a couple scenes. Do you guys ever watch scenes of like kids in school, and you get like a little flashback trauma? But then you're like. Oh, thank God I never have to deal with fucking high school again. Yeah. I am so grateful sometimes oh, yeah. that I the, never have to go to the like, waking yeah. up thinking I have homework due. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That or, anxiety. Like, uh, yeah. or the nightmare where you have to go back to school. I have that nightmare oh, all the fucking time. I have it all the time. Yeah. She's just like, why? So I never have this oh, shit. Oh, my why. God. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's different time, Colin. It's, it's awful. terrifying. It's like, oh, just it's all like, the time. It's like, it's like my credits didn't count or something, and now I have to go back. Oh, my God. It's fucking awful. It's so scary. We came from a time where they drilled it into us. Colin, you have to go yeah. to school. You have to go to college. You have yes. to be successful. But and like, I don't know. Anytime I'm having a bad mental health day, I just tell myself I never have to take algebra ever again. Yeah. Like, just give yourself those little boosts because yeah. that's what. Like, I this don't movie, have a twelve page report due tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't have to do any more fucking book reports ever again. Like, yeah, hey, yeah. you're not walking into that gym. Exactly. <laughs> no more running the mile and then going to math class right after. Right. You know. Right. Like, no more. Be grateful for those little victories because that's what life is. So, like, this movie gave me a few. And this like, is what disturbing behavior has taught us. Yeah. It just like. When that professor was being an asshole, that gave me flashbacks to like oh, having an yeah. asshole professor, and I was like, "Oh, yeah. thank God, I never have to deal with that Whoa. again." Because like, at least if I have an asshole boss, I can quit and find a new job, right? Yeah. Sure. But in school, you have no power when you have an asshole yeah. teacher. Just so deal like, with yeah, it. yeah. But anyways, I had still a don't recommend that gave the movie. Me detention for laughing. Yeah. See, they they, they did have, that they power trip. They yeah. did they power that. trip like fucking crazy sometimes. But anyways, pass on this movie to say <laughs> yeah. don't. It's not worth watching. It's a mess. What was that Katie Holmes movie with um, Benjamin Bratt? 
was like a suspense movie. Is in that the, the crazy one? The yeah, what was that called? I don't know. I was trying to think of like Katie Holmes movies, and I was like, there was a suspense thriller one with her and Ooh, Benjamin Bratt. I don't remember. The wasn't there one with Benjamin Bratt and Ashley Judd? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, abandoned. Abandoned. Was yes. it abandoned? Abandoned. Yes. That's either got Katie Holmes or Ashley Judd. It's Katie Holmes. Okay, but yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I think Abandoned? so. Yeah. I think so. Pretty sure. We'll, we'll, we'll look this up later, okay. folks. Sorry. Random right. thought. But yeah, oh, I know what you're talking about. I guess we have come to a unanimous decision. I oh, yeah. think we have. This is uh, disturbing behavior. Freak show disapprecied. You yep. don't have we to were, watch right, it. Right, no, we were disturbed by the behavior of this movie, <laughs> and we prefer you weren't as well. You're so. forbidden to watch it. <laughs> Truly. Yeah, it's okay. illegal to watch it now. Yeah. So. All right. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that means next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Colin. Ah. You, you, oh, I can't help myself. He's squishing his. Uh, oh, no. no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. What? All right. Colin. Brace for impact, everybody. Uh, well, okay. So what are we. <laughs> all the powders. Everything went out. What happened? We, I mean, we are going back to Italy, but not in the way no. that you expect. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to explore the filmography of Antonio Margaretti. Margarete. Thank you. Mm-hmm. With the movie called with uh, Lee Majors, Karen oh. Black, and uh, Margot Hemingway. That's right. Ooh. The grandniece. Right? I haven't watched a Margot Hemingway movie in fact. <laughs> Killer Fish. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you made up for all of that with the title of this movie. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Killer. Okay. Killer fish. Uh, okay. You got to go okay. uh, find this one on Amazon or wherever. All right. To I'm intrigued. Along. I will learn nothing about this and the coming blind. They're piranhas. God damn it, Colin. Okay. I said I was coming in live. <laughs> All right. Colin loves to spoil things. He truly so does. <laughs> next week <laughs> on the Saturday Night Freak Show, we hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>